Hello, welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. 19 Op FLS. Chapter 401. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The situation on the field was reversed in an instant. It was originally Akainu and Aokiji who were surrounded by danger, but now a governor has become a bereaved dog. From the moment the death field dissipated, the strange power that restricted the abilities of Akainu and Aokiji devil fruit also disappeared. Aokiji and Akainu only felt their bodies relaxed for a while, the energy that had been suppressed for a long time gushing out of their bodies, and the sky and mist in the sea where they were both were dyed in red and blue. Monster, see if the old man doesn't knock your bone scum into powder, so that you won't be scared out again. Garp is not affected by the death domain. Before the extra-large iron ball hits the AE governor, Garp is already moving fast. Therefore, it is not surprising that Garp appears next to AE Governor one step faster than Akainu. In a cluster of black smoke that hadn't completely dissipated beside the AE Governor, Garp wrapped Armament Hockey's right punch and smashed the smoke toward the AE Governor's face. A Yidu smiled helplessly, his perception ability dropped a lot when he consumed almost the same amount of energy, until Garp arrived in front of him to find out. Duai's current physical condition is naturally unable to defend against this punch. Advertisement. Garp's, fist bone meteor hammer, slammed the AE governor's left face strictly, and the AE governor who had just stopped in 393 was knocked out again. After smashing two marine warships and three ghost ships in succession, the retreating figure of AE governor stopped on the last ghost ship. However, the ghost ship that was the landing site of Aedu was also completely shattered in the violent impact and slowly sank into the sea. Aedu lay on the fragments of the ghost ship, unable to move, and all the flesh on his left cheek disappeared. Under Garp's full punch just now, the meat on Aedu's left face turned into minced meat and disappeared into the air, leaking the bones inside, and there were some slight cracks on the leaking bones. It hurts the body, this punch won't just leave it alone. A Yidu felt the weird sensation on his left face. As an undead, he would naturally not have the luxury of pain, but the body injury would still allow him. He is very uncomfortable. A large amount of black substance came out of the mouth of the demon skeleton on the top of the bone scepter in his hand, enveloping Aidu. He himself does not have enough energy to repair his own injury, especially the injury has spread to his body. Although the thick mist was in the air, Aidu was knocked far away by Garp. However, Garp, Akainu, and Aokiji had already locked the AE governor's breath. As long as they were within one kilometer, the observation hockey of the three of them could instantly find AE governor. Garp's move just hit directly, except for Luyun and Shin Luo, no one can be safe and sound. Garp, Akainu and Aokiji estimated that the AE governor could no longer stand up. With the intention of cutting the grass and rooting out the roots, the three of them rushed directly to the direction of governor AE. Even if Governor Aiyi could still move, they would give him the final blow. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Garp used, moonwalk, and, shave, continuously instead, and walked in the forefront with air and marine battleships as pedals. Akainu turned into a flying meteorite and followed Garp. After Aokiji handed Kazaru to Zephyr, an ice crystal sprang up from the surface of his feet and took Aokiji away like a skateboard. Governor Aiyi stood up. The injuries on his body had been repaired, and the black matter disappeared without a trace, but I don't know if it was an illusion. The white bone scepter before became dim and godless this time, and the devil skeleton on the top of the scepter appeared some a slight crack. Seeing Garp, Akainu, and Aokiji approaching, Aidu looked savage and had an urge to tear them apart by himself. Taking into account that his own strength has not been fully recovered now, Governor Ae forcibly suppressed his inner thoughts. Advertisement. Closing his eyes and taking a deep breath, Aidu's eye sockets that were about to burst into flames turned into the silence like a pool of stagnant water after closing his eyelids. Aidu's mouth opened slightly, and the silent instructions were conveyed one by one. The bones are very hard, but I think you can get a few punches. All the humiliation just now will be returned to you, fire breathing. Ice Age. Garp. Akainu and Aokiji surrounded Ae from three directions at the same time, blocking all his retreat. Garp's fighting spirit was raging, Akainu was furious, and Aokiji, with a biting chill, gave his full strength in an instant. You will all be the tribute of Lady Death. Aidu directly ignored the trio's devastating offensive, and a cold voice came out from his mouth faintly. At the moment when Garp, Akainu and Aokiji's attack were less than 20 meters away from Ae Governor, 
more than a dozen tentacles shot out like sharp arrows from the sea. Each tentacle was five or six meters thick, and instantly filled the area where the four people were. Garp, Akainu, and Aokiji were each besieged by four or five tentacles, the teeth and barbs on the tentacles exuding this awe-inspiring cold light. I thought that as long as he was drawn, he would fall to Kazaru's end. With a chill in the hearts of the three of them, they knew that it was no longer realistic to besiege a governor, and the offensive in their hands fell on the drawn tentacles, temporarily solving the immediate crisis. After the three of them got rid of the siege of the tentacles, and then looked at the place where a governor was before, no one could see a governor's figure, even the wreck of the ghost ship was gone. At the moment when the tentacle appeared, a tentacle took a do and disappeared into the sea, and the wreckage was further crushed and sank into the sea. Advertisement. Garp, Akainu, and Aokiji all retreated some distance to prevent a governor's raid. However, the surprise attack did not come, and the tentacles, who thought they had escaped the attack range, sprang out of the sea under the feet of the three of them again. Everyone has six tentacles besieging. As the space becomes more spacious, the tentacles, attacks become more fluid and orderly. These tentacles are like a person's hands, cooperating tacitly, and the stormy offensive fell on the three of them, wave after wave, without stopping. In the face of such an attack, Garp, Akainu, and Aokiji don't even say counterattack, just dodge is enough. At this time, Aedu was taken by the tentacles to the body of the tentacles, on the head of the deep sea monster named, Paul. The dark seabed suddenly lit up some light. It turned out that the deep sea devil who had been silent opened his eyes, and the eight car sized eyes exuded a deep yellow light. Paul, long time no see. Lady Death must have been waiting a long time. A Yiju's tone was as if he had met an old friend, his hand touched the head of the monster of the deep sea, this scene couldn't be described as weird. The response to Governor A was the actions of the monsters of the deep sea. In the marine fleet, nearly a hundred tentacles rose into the sky, and almost every marine warship will have a tentacles next to it. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at Hot MTL Novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 402. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. As soon as these tentacles appeared, they slammed the marine warship beside them frantically. Large marine warships have been cut out by these tentacles, and ordinary small marine warships have turned into fragments under the attack of the tentacles. Even some marine warships are united by multiple tentacles, forcibly dragging the warship into the sea. Once successful by these tentacles, the lives of marine soldiers on the warship are basically gone. In the waters where the marine fleet is currently located, ship crashes and deaths are almost certain to happen continuously. Once a marine warship turns into fragments, those marine soldiers on the warship have not had time to arrive on other warships before they fall into the sea. There is only a dead end waiting for them. Marines also know that now they don't know how many monsters like deep sea monsters or ghost ship undead are hidden in the sea below their marine fleet. The marine soldiers who were dragged into the water or fell into the water unfortunately had no chance to escape, except for those who were tyrannical to the level of the squadron. From the beginning of the war to the present, the marines can't remember how many soldiers' lives were swallowed by the deep sea under their feet. Below this sea area is like a demon stationed, and those who fall into the sea are dead or alive. For ordinary marine soldiers, each tentacle is equivalent to a sea king's. Both are so huge in size, so destructive in power, so flexible in the sea, and have exactly the same stench. And it's not just the deep sea monster named, Paul, that has taken action. Other deep sea monsters, three-headed sea snakes, ghost fish and other sea monsters have also emerged from the sea and joined the feast of hunting food. Only the skeletal demon fish that attacked nature continued to stay in the shadow of the sea, and was only responsible for solving the marine soldiers transferred to the sea. Advertisement. The most powerful weapon of a killer is patience and concealment. Among the many underwater monsters summoned by Chin Luo, the bone monster fish is not strong or even the bottom. But no matter in terms of number or the survival of the group, the bone devil fish far surpassed several powerful creatures among the best. So this scene is really not easy to play. At this time, Chin Luo's marine warship was also under attack by two tentacles. Looking at the tentacles that can be solved with a single sword or even a word, now is, Sato Sheyasuo, I have to show a look that I can't deal with. The strong stench makes Chin Luo a little nauseous. Chin Luo's marine warship is currently the strongest combat power in him. Objectively speaking, 
he is, absolutely, unable to deal with Paul's tentacles. As a result, this ordinary marine warship also encountered the flanking attack of two tentacles, which was really unlucky. Shin Luo is not good at directly controlling where and how many tentacles appear. Even, Paul, may not be able to confirm where his tentacles appear and who they will attack. These have a certain degree of randomness. But if it weren't for Chin Luo, Sato Shaozuo, occasionally, burst out before his death, I am afraid that the entire warship has been dragged into the sea, and the other monsters hidden in the sea will have a feast. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. In this situation, finding Kazaru to rescue various marine warships is actually the best choice, but Kazaru is now in a severely injured coma, where can he rescue people? The work of this firefighter was also arranged by Sengoku and Gangukong on the other lieutenant generals. Regardless of whether these lieutenants are willing or not, the current situation does not allow them to think too much. So the fire brigade has been built, but Chin Luo can't guarantee the efficiency. It is estimated that Kazaru is not as fast as Kazaru alone. The warship that Chin Luo is on is just a microcosm of the entire marine fleet, and similar things are happening on nearly a hundred marine warships, and some warships are even more dangerous than Chin Luo's warships. Advertisement. The continuous screams wafted over the battlefield waters, but the heavy fog made it hard to see where the screams came from, which undoubtedly made the restless people's hearts more riot. At this time, Marshal Marine's steel-bonded car, Marine 1, was also in danger of being dragged into the sea forcibly. No less than 26 tentacles are besieging, Marine 1, among which there are 15 or 6 tentacles belonging to, Paul, and the rest are the tentacles of ordinary deep-sea monsters. Marine 1, as different and powerful among many marine warships. The position of, Marine 1, is also in the middle of the entire marine fleet. Those sea monsters are not mindless, they can see the special nature of, Marine 1, at a glance. Those tentacles and sea monsters are either eager to claim credit to the master, or are looking for a more delicious flavor, so who can you toss with, Marine 1, this time without tossing you? Shockwave. At this time, Sengoku had transformed into the form of a big Buddha, and a shock wave brought a tentacle out with a thunderous castration, preventing the tentacle from entanglement with, Marine 1. If it goes on like this, it will be endless. Seeing that one tentacled was repulsed and another tentacled appeared, Sengoku panted and said to Marshal Gangukong. While talking, the three-headed sea snake found the opportunity to bite Sengoku. However, Sengoku didn't care. As long as he didn't attack, Marine 1, Sengoku was confident that he could solve all these tentacles and sea monsters slowly. Dot dot dot. Advertisement. In the form of the big Buddha, Sengoku's body strength has risen to a terrifying height. In addition, it is covered with armament hockey. The three-headed sea snake that attacked directly broke his teeth. And Sengoku turned around with a palm, and drew the three-headed sea snake that had broken its teeth back to the bottom of the sea. Are there any better ideas? Gangukong regrets that he shouldn't have been uncomfortable and sent Lieutenant General Marine out. Now that the huge, Marine 1, is still being taken care of, there are only two high-end battles between him and Sengoku. Power can come out to deal with it. I saw, these larger tentacles should be on a big guy. If we just attack its tentacles, I guess there is only one dead end. After repelling another one who regarded, Marine 1, as a cake, we must after taking a bite from the giant sea monster, Sengoku gasped and spoke to Marshal Gangukong. Finger pistol. Do you mean to attack the body of these tentacles? The Marshal Gangukong used finger pistol to cut off a smaller tentacle that was two to three meters thick and looked at Sengoku. Yes. It's not that Sengoku cherishes words like gold, but that he is fighting with three tentacles this time. Tempest kick. Tomahawk. Gangukong did not rest, and immediately went to help Sengoku clear the siege after solving the monster in his hand. The steel bones are in a hurry. If this continues, even if these monsters are eliminated, most of the entire marine fleet will be dragged by these monsters to be buried. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 403. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Seeing the worried and angry expressions on Marshal Gang Gukong's face, Sengoku knew what Gang Gukong thought of. After a shock wave from his right palm flapped a tentacle that drew towards the cab, Sengoku said to comfort Sky's path. Don't worry, we are here now. 
Even if we have any plans, we can't carry out any plans. We'd better wait for a few of them. Come back first, I have already sent a signal. Sengoku said that they naturally refer to Garp, Aokiji and Akainu. As for the firefighting team composed of the remaining Marine Lieutenant Generals. It's not that Sengoku doesn't look down on their strength, but that the current Marine fleet really needs this firefighting team, otherwise his plan won't need to be unfolded, and the entire Marine fleet will be submerged to the bottom of the sea. As for the signal, Sengoku didn't talk nonsense. When seeing so many tentacles besieging the Marine 1, Sengoku knew that he and Marshal Gangu Kong couldn't defend the flagship of the Marine. He fired the previously agreed flares. When Garp went to rescue Kazaru, Sengoku told Garp that things were not easy tonight, and asked him to pay attention to the flare. With Sengoku's request, coupled with the misty night sky of 17, the flares shining with colorful light are also quite conspicuous, and Garp will not fail to notice. Aokiji, Akainu, listen to me, there may be something wrong with Marine 1, we need to express it back. Garp was covered with armament hockey. Just when he was stubbornly struck by the tentacles, he forcibly smashed the two tentacles that flanked him one after the other. Advertisement. Garp's left and right fists were condensed with extremely thick armament hockey, and the two tentacles in his fist bones and iron punches first appeared cracks, and then exploded into a rain of flesh and blood. At this time, three tentacles that were chopped off after being frozen were floating on the sea, and the thick smell of scorching squid was permeated in the fog and this piece of seawater was dyed dark green by the flesh and blood of the devil in the deep sea. The dozen or so tentacles that previously besieged Garp, Aokiji and Akainu now only have seven. Aokiji and Akainu solved three each, and the rest were broken by the stronger Garp. Who put the flare just now, Marshal Steel Skeleton or Admiral? Aokiji spouted ice crystals with both hands, while pushing himself to avoid the attacking tentacles, while freezing a certain part of the tentacles, he asked Garp through the gap. The frozen tentacles were very cunning, and immediately left without giving Aokiji a chance to continue hurting, and then retracted into the sea for a period of time to dispose of the frozen ice before rejoining the battle. So Aokiji also has a headache. For such a cunning monster, if he doesn't seize the best opportunity to freeze the entire tentacle, a little bit of frostbite is useless for the tentacle. It's Sengoku. Garp gasped and avoided the siege of the tentacles. Just now he was anxious when he saw the signal. Even though he smashed two tentacles, he was not well. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Being concentrated on the front of a tentacle, not only did the armament hockey covering his body appear cracks, but the teeth of the tentacles directly penetrated armament hockey, making a hole in his waist. Are you sure? Akainu's right hand turned into magma to help Garp fend off a tentacle that was about to attack. However, the tentacles are so big, except when they suddenly burst out from the bottom of the sea it is a bit unexpected, and it is not easy to make a sneak attack outside. Of course, neither Sengoku nor I would be the one joking at this time. Seeing someone help him block the attack, Garp got a bit of time to deal with the wound and gasp. Advertisement. Garp tore off his clothes and wrapped it around his waist, stopping the blood temporarily, and then took out Garp's healing medicine from his arms, uh, how it looked like Senbei. Akainu didn't expect that this old man Garp was still playing treasures at this time. Hearing the sound of Garp eating scallops, Akainu just thought he was stupid and came over to help Garp stop him. The attack of the tentacles. Thank you, Akainu, do you want a slice? Garp thanked Akainu for his help and dumped a slice of senbei. The scene was like a cigar. Akainu smoothly caught the senbei that Garp ran over with his left hand, and then his left hand turned into magma, and the senbei in his hand turned into coke. Akainu glared at Garp, which obviously meant that you were playing tricks and don't take others with you. You go here and leave it to me. Akainu is not a good person, but he also has his own justice and plan in his heart. No matter what, he will not watch the marine fleet fall, nor will he give up the opportunity to make merit. While speaking, a tentacle sprang out in vain from the surface of the sea directly below Akainu, like a giant electric drill trying to pierce Akainu. Akainu turned into magma and was easily pierced from foot to head by the tentacles. However, the magma melted by Akainu also covered the entire tentacle. A line of magma condensed in the center of this tentacle and became the appearance of Akainu. The magma-shaped Akainu held the tentacles with both hands and yelled, Destroy the world red lotus. The entire tentacles wrapped in magma glowed fiery red like a hot red soldering iron. Without any struggle, 
this tentacle was blown into powder by magma like a boulder blocking the crater. The red dust gleamed with black smoke and slowly fell on the surface of the sea. Akainu, who restored the prototype, took a few breaths, and it was obvious that the trick just now was quite expensive for Akainu. Advertisement. Seeing this, Aokiji silently took the initiative to wrap a 130 tentacles. I stepped on the continuously stimulated ice cubes as a snowboard and moved quickly on the tentacles. The dark blue light condensed on the right hand and pressed on the tentacles. Ice Age. It's not as dangerous as Garp, and it's not as loud as Akainu. A mountain-shaped iceberg appeared on the sea, and the tentacles could be clearly seen in the crystal-clear glacier. You're sure. When Aokiji spoke, his right hand trembled a little, but it actually made Aokiji stay and drag the remaining tentacles. Akainu and Garp hurried back to Marine 1 as the best choice. With the ability of Aokiji's frozen fruit, no matter what. These tentacles can't be resolved for a while, and it's okay to drag them. Moreover, if it is Aokiji, there is no need to worry about the disappearance of AE Governor's sneak attack. Aokiji is much easier to deal with than Akainu in the battle on the sea. However, Marine 1 also needs Aokiji's ability. Frozen fruit is an excellent choice for both control and protection. This is why Garp has no direct opposition. Go away. Akainu yelled coldly, and then five consecutive fires smashed at the remaining five tentacles. Akainu was pulling the monster's hatred. Garp turned and left directly, Aokiji glanced at it and left with a complicated expression. With only five tentacles left, Akainu will never be in danger. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 404. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Tisk Tusk. Is this the Akainu I know? Chin Luo has been observing Marine's high-end combat power from a distance through Rinnegan. If Chin Luo would not monitor these people so directly in normal times, one would be spotted if he was not careful. It is now during the battle, with many people and mixed eyes. As long as Chin Luo directly throws the creature bound by Rinnegan to the side of the monitored person, he can have a 24-hour uninterrupted, uncoded high-definition live broadcast. Thanks to Rinnegan's special ability, Chin Luo can even use Yishin to receive multiple images and messages at the same time without confusion. To talk about the shortcomings, when using this ability, the pattern of the eyes is too obvious. So in order to avoid being discovered by others, Chin Luo, the fake, Sato Shao Zuo, found an excellent opportunity. On the marine warship where Chin Luo was located, all marine soldiers thought that, Sato Shao was to save the lives of the entire marine warship and all the marines on the warship, before they stepped forward and was struck by a tentacle. Speaking of this, the, Sato Sato, at the time was not to mention how miserable it was. A general who did not have the strength of marine but who could not armament hockey was drawn by five or six meters thick tentacles, his entire face and abdomen became rotten flesh. Sato Sheyasuo, was pulled to the ground by his tentacles, and suddenly vented more and less. A lot of blood flowed out of the body of, Sato Sheyasuo, without money. Advertisement. All this is not a temporary motive. Chin Luo was collecting all kinds of blood a few days ago. Now the blood is constantly emerging from, Sato Sheyasuo, through special channels. The blood has been collected for a while, and the color of the blood tends to dark red, but because of the heavy fog and darkness, ordinary people can't see the abnormality of blood at all. As for the daytime, when the blood is almost clotting, there is no difference. As soon as, Sato Sheyasuo, fell down on his front foot, he was unconscious. Like a drama, the firefighters arrived. In no time, the tentacles, undead and other monsters on the side of Chin Luo's battleship were all cleaned up. Chin Luo was also taken back to his room for recuperation due to serious injuries, and his surveillance operation happened to be carried out. On the screen in Chin Luo's mind, the firefighters are divided into several teams. The strongest team is currently dealing with the tentacles that appear, and the weaker ones are dealing with simple monsters or undead. Although Governor A is said to be the third person in the entire ghost ship fleet, none of the undead who have fought with Marine now has his strength. But Marine's biggest trouble now is the deep sea monster, Paul, and everything else can be set aside first. On the deck of Marine 1, Marine 1 was already crumbling and was unable to hold it. This warship obviously received special attention from the monster behind the tentacles, and there were four large holes on both sides of, Marine 1. 
Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. No one would doubt that if there were a few more holes of this size, Marine 1 would sink into the sea without the pulling of its tentacles. Sengoku and Gangukong gasped back to back. They were surprised by Ishin's defense, and they didn't have much energy to save. The tentacles fought back one after another, which none of them expected. Sengoku, I'm here to save you. When you look back, remember to buy some senbei. Don't make a mistake. Advertisement. Before Garp arrived, the voice came first. He was worried about his friends and he was rushing back as fast as he could. Then the two figures passed through the black night and the diffuse fog, and appeared in front of the many soldiers and generals of Marine 1. The soldiers and mid-level generals on Marine 1 are indeed the best in the entire Marine. In the face of so many tentacles and undersea monsters siege on Marine 1, only two high-end combat powers, Admiral and a Marshal were left to deal with. Although these soldiers were a little panicked at first, they were able to move on their own. Organize effective resistance. This is also one of the important reasons why Marine 1 was able to survive until the arrival of the aid. Ice Age. As soon as Aokiji Pu appeared and saw the tentacles dancing like a group of demons on the side of Marine 1, the start was a big move. White ice crystals sprang from Aokiji's body. First, the sea surface, warships, tentacles, everything was frozen by Aokiji. The tentacles that felt the danger in advance retracted into the sea and disappeared before they were frozen, but the tentacles that had entangled Marine 1 firmly and were ready to drag Marine 1 into the sea did not have time to escape. Even Marine 1 was frozen into ice scum before it could be released. Aokiji tapped his frozen tentacles lightly, and the ice cubes turned into ice crystals all over the sky and disappeared in the sky and the earth. Advertisement. I have to say that Aokiji's frozen devil fruit ability is really practical. Aokiji has just returned to control and eliminate a few scarred tentacles. It also successfully prevented the tentacles and monsters in the deep sea from further siege of Marine 1. As the saying goes, coming early is not as good as coming. When Aokiji was dealing with four or five tentacles by himself, it was not easy to eliminate one tentacles. Both timing and ability are indispensable, and it takes a lot of effort and commitment. Risks of. Now when Aokiji came, the three tentacles were still entangled on Marine Number 1 before they had time to withdraw, just like a stationary target, they were easily solved. When Garp arrived, he was embarrassed. He didn't advance at full speed in order to save his energy. When the time came, the troubles of Sengoku and others had almost been resolved. However, Aokiji, Garp, Sengoku, and Gangukong all knew that the tentacles who had been scared by Aokiji did not leave, but patiently lurked in the nearby waters, and might attack again at any time. So the many marines on Marine 1 and the monsters hiding in the sea entered a stalemate. Such a stalemate is not happy for Marine, because this stalemate dragged the Marines for high-end combat power, and the other party only paid a few tentacle prices. As the saying goes, only thousand days is a thief, and there is no thousand days to guard against thieves. I agree to take the initiative to attack the body of these tentacles. Gangukong thought for a while and felt that he still had to take the initiative to attack. These tentacles seem to be a steady stream of defeating one here's another one. Aokiji, Garp, Sengoku and Gangukong have all suffered from the loss of their tentacles just now. According to Sengoku's analysis, as long as the body of the deep sea monster is attacked, those tentacles can be solved all at once. Soon, under the combined efforts of the four people, Sengoku locked the position of the body of the deep sea monster. It's a bit strange to say that this location is right next to Marine 1. I think this is the reason why the tentacles on Marine 1 can continue to flow. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 405. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. After estimating the approximate location of the body of the deep sea monster, Hall, Gangukong and Sengoku got together again. Sengoku, are you sure it's this location? As the door opened, the steel bone who entered the war room asked leisurely, biting his cigar. In the huge war room, there was only a lamp on the table where Sengoku was sitting. Because Marine 1 was attacked by the sea monster and received a lot of losses, even if it was not paralyzed, the power supply system had already gone wrong. According to the information from below, the situation of the tentacles and the height of the tentacles emerging from the sea, this location hides the body of these tentacles, but 
Sengoku stopped talking as he said, and threw some intelligence documents on the table. How could Sengoku be 100% sure with just such a little thing? If all the information was deliberately misled or conspired by that monster, Sengoku couldn't imagine the consequences of a missed plan, and couldn't bear that kind of responsibility. But what? Let's talk, we don't have time to wait any longer. The martial gang Kukong walked to the side of Sengoku. As Kukong walked in, the current appearance of Kukong was illuminated by the lights. A cut was made on the forehead of his right eye. In order not to block the realization, Marshal Marine, who was always in a fighting state, only slightly handled it without further bandaging. Gangukong only wore 470 marshals' cloaks on his upper body, and his left shoulder and abdomen were all wrapped in bandages. A little red bloodshot was exposed from the bandages. It was obvious that the wound had not completely stopped bleeding. Advertisement. Unlike Akainu, Gang Bone Kong is not a person who usually smokes cigars. As Marshal Marine, Gangu Kong strictly manages his behavior, habits and health. If other elements are excluded, Gang Bone Kong is indeed an excellent soldier. Now this cigar is far more refreshing and pain relieving than smoking itself. Although I'm very embarrassed, Marshal Gang Bone Kong, I need someone to go under the sea to confirm the location of the monster, and preferably the depth. Sengoku took a deep breath, stated his request completely, and pushed his prepared combat plan to Gangu Kong. Sengoku's future battle plan has been finalized, but the location of the monster itself cannot be completely determined. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. There is only one chance for this kind of thing. After failure, no matter the monster will be vigilant, Marine can't find a second way to hurt the monster in the deep sea. But Sengoku fully understands what it means to let people go into the sea at this time. It is no different from sending someone to death. You have to know that besides the tentacle monster, there are many terrifying things hidden underneath in the sea. If they don't appear, it doesn't mean that we can go down. I have not received any report of marine soldiers or generals falling into the sea. I will come back alive later. The red light on the head of the cigar flickered, and there seemed to be no emotion in the steel-bonded voice, but he was indeed describing a bloody thing. I know. Sengoku felt that he couldn't hesitate anymore, and replied categorically. After speaking, he paused and added, Then let me go. Nadi, you are Marine Admiral or Marine's most important wise officer and staff member. You still need to make arrangements for the next plan. I won't let you take risks. Besides, your demon fruit power will become weak as soon as you touch the sea. How to determine the location of the monster? Gangu Kong completely trusted Sengoku's abilities, and had no plans to read Sengoku's combat plan, and directly refused Sengoku's request for death. But Gangu Kong also knew that since Sengoku asked someone to confirm the location of the monster, it was unavoidable. Advertisement. In this case, the steel frame is empty without wasting time, and he said, let Garp go. No, Marshal, you also know that Garp is the most suitable person to perform the final step of the plan. Confirm that the task should be handed over to someone else. Sengoku calmly rejected Gangu Kong's request to let Garp go not just because the relationship between the two is good or unwilling. Let Garp go to death. On the contrary, Sengoku believes in Garp's ability more than others, and thinks that Garp can be safe and sound. Sengoku also considered it early, but Garp is an irreplaceable part of the final plan. Then I will do it. It's even more impossible. If the marshal did nothing but things, we would have lost this war. After being attacked by the sea monster's fury, Sengoku had already felt the cruelty of this inexplicable disaster and directly called it a war. Then who else is suitable, tell me about it. There is a kind of unspeakable irritability in Gangu Kong, first Kazaru is seriously injured and unconscious. Later, after Akainu took the initiative to break Aokiji and Garp, when he sent someone to find Akainu, Akainu had burned all those tentacles, but he himself was on the verge of crumbling, and he fell into a coma after being taken to a safe place. It seems that none of the generals of the huge marine fleet can complete the mission. Master Five Elders, I mean the person sent by Master Five Elders. Sengoku said vaguely, but it was referring to Deadpool, to see if they could make a move. No, I asked. When he said this, Gangu Kong gritted his teeth with anger. Before he asked Deadpool to take action, but Deadpool refused without hesitation, saying that Marine couldn't care about them. At that time, looking at the look of Deadpool watching the play, Gangu Kong couldn't help but want to do it. Advertisement. Then, I have another way. 
Sengoku seemed to have made a major decision, and continued. Send more people down and hide the powerful lieutenant general in it. As long as the middleman confirms that he can leave and tell us that's it. Sengoku and Gangukong stared at each other with wide open eyes. Sengoku's last solution was undoubtedly to send a death squad. The people who went down except the lieutenant general were all bait to delay other monsters. There is no time. If the plan is successful if it is delayed, it will be meaningless. Sengoku's eyes staring at Gangukong didn't flinch. If even his planner was shaken at this time, the whole plan would not need to be implemented. I know. Gangukong threw the cigar on the ground and trampled it out, and walked slowly toward the combat room. Marshal, summon these soldiers and generals in my name. Sengoku felt that he had to pay for his plan. No need. Marshal, I know, I know what to do. As a marshal, of course I will take care of it. Sengoku, you make other preparations for the plan. After saying that Gangukong left directly. Soon a group of marine soldiers were called up, whether it was abduction, promise or whatever means. Anyway, Gangukong called these people in front of Sengoku. In this group of 300 people, there is also a lieutenant general who is good at marine six styles and observation hockey disguised as an ordinary soldier. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at Hot MTL Novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 406. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Sengoku looked at the 300 marine soldiers gathered in front of him, with a calm expression on his face, but mixed feelings in his heart. Except for the disguised lieutenant general, all these soldiers were ordinary marine soldiers. A marine soldier of this strength fell into the sea area under his feet. It is estimated that he didn't even struggle and had no hope of surviving. Just because he Sengoku couldn't think of other ways or find a more suitable person, these marines would lose their lives abruptly. Sengoku felt like he was an executioner. His hands were covered with blood from the 300 marine soldiers in front of him. Sengoku hesitated to speak several times, and opened his mouth slightly to tell the 300 marine soldiers the truth, but the words got stuck in his throat every time. Sengoku didn't know how Marshal Steelbone Air told the 300 marine soldiers. Sengoku was afraid that no one would continue to perform this mission after he told his true thoughts. This mission is basically mortal if there is no miracle. Fortunately, Sengoku didn't really tell the details to the 300 marine soldiers. The 300 marine soldiers were kept in the dark except for the disguised lieutenant general. As long as you take the information of these marine soldiers and investigate casually, you will find that these marine soldiers have some common characteristics. One is their innocence. These 300 people are either orphans, or ordinary people without any influence background, and they have never had any contacts with any well-known personalities. Secondly, these 300 people are more or less the promise of Marshal Marine. They were told to participate in an extremely dangerous mission, and they decided whether to participate or not. However, Every participant Gangukong offered conditions that were heartwarming, and promotion and fortune was nothing more than that. Most of these people are not satisfied with the status quo but have mediocre aptitudes, so they have to use their own net worth and life to fight for that Jingshou future and move their wealth. Advertisement. Unfortunately, they didn't know that since the war room came out and agreed to Sengoku, Gangukong had prepared the idea of being responsible for the deaths of these soldiers. There should be a lot of things like death fighters and death squads, CP0 to CP9 under the world government and celestial dragons, but they are not in marine. To make a death squad in a hurry, Marshal Gang Bone Kong didn't think he had such a charm. Marshal Gang Bone Kong even considered the name of the report of the confession at that time. For example, report on the death of 300 marine soldiers, and, mistakenly estimating the risk of the mission, leading to death, are both acceptable. In a small conference room on the lower level of the Marine One deck, Sengoku is introducing the contents and precautions of the mission to the 300 Marine soldiers. It's actually very simple. Confirm the body position and depth of a monster with a large number of tentacles, and then report back alive. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. There are not many things, and the content of the task is very simple. Sengoku said that more people just want to make these 300 people more likely to survive, which might reduce some of Sengoku's inner anxiety. Only Sengoku was responsible for the explanation, and the others like Garp, Gang Bone Kong, and Aokiji were still outside fighting with those tentacles and deep-sea monsters. 
The battle started with the appearance of the ghost ships, and there was only a short break after the big outbreak when Aokiji came back to rescue. After that, the two sides fought hard again, and Garp, Gangukong, Aokiji and the other lieutenants were all fighting outside. Give you 10 minutes of personal time, and gather on the deck in 10 minutes, and the mission will begin. Thinking that Marine will die more people if the mission is not ended as soon as possible, Sengoku instantly strengthened his heart and threw other thoughts behind his head. Ten minutes passed quickly, especially when every second counts. Three hundred marine soldiers arrived on the deck of, Marine 1. During this ten minutes, Sengoku called in another six hundred soldiers and prepared everything. Advertisement. Three hundred soldiers were allocated waterproof eyepieces, short-term submersibles, signal transmitters and receivers, and a rope that was more than fifty meters long. Three hundred marines tied the ropes and put on all the equipment. When they reached the bottom of the sea, as long as they confirmed the position and depth of the monster itself, or encountered an irresistible danger, activate the signal transmitter, and the two above would quickly pull it. Come up. Prepare. After preparing for so long, and finally wanting to take a leap, all the marine soldiers were up to 120,000 points. Aokiji. Sengoku roared. Understood. Ice Age. Aokiji, who was carefully ordered, naturally knew what to do. A large amount of white and blue energy was sprayed from Aokiji's body, freezing the sea area under, Marine 1, and it was about 200 meters away from, Marine 1. Pulling up a circle of ice peaks, Aokiji separated, Marine 1, from the tentacles for a while. Akainu. Akainu, who had just woke up, was also called by Sengoku. Yeah, Akainu responded and swiped a few large fires, dissolving and smashing the ice under, Marine 1, again leaving only the circle of ice peaks. Through the cooperation of Akainu and Aokiji, the monsters under the bottom of the sea were initially cleaned up, and the monsters on the bottom of the sea were temporarily isolated from peeping on the surface of the sea. It's now, jump. The moment when Akainu's fire broke the ice was the best time, Sengoku yelled out the order to start. Advertisement. Dot dot dot. Boom, 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 followed the intensive sound of falling into the water and all 300 marine soldiers with the mission jumped into the sea. Then the weird silence remained for one second, two seconds, three seconds, and the, diddy -di, alarm sounded like a frog croaking after the rain. More than 600 soldiers on the deck hurriedly pulled up the person in charge after receiving the signal. However, none of these soldiers who were responsible for pulling the rope succeeded in pulling back the person in charge. Most of the ropes were found to be light when they were pulled halfway and only the broken rope was pulled up from the bottom of the sea. The few that were pulled up were broken corpses, without any livelihoods. Although Sengoku knew that this mission was dead or alive, the 300 marines were wiped out in less than 6 seconds and nothing was gained. This result makes Sengoku somewhat unacceptable. A breath of silence fell on everyone on the deck. At the 8th second, it was like a meteor piercing the silent night, and there was a clear, drip, sound. The moment Sengoku heard it, the form of the great Buddha exploded, and a shaver appeared next to the signal that made the sound, grabbed the rope from the two soldiers in charge, and pulled it with all his strength. A figure rushed out of the bottom of the sea and was caught by Garp in midair. All the series of actions occurred and completed within one second, and Sengoku exhausted all his strength. The location is 80 meters west, and the depth is 400. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at Hot MTL novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 407. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The marine soldier, who was pulled out of the sea by Sengoku, could not wait to report a message in the air as soon as he got out of the sea. His voice was urgent and painful, and he felt relieved at the end. A bad feeling haunted everyone. Garp fell back to the deck of, Marine 1 and the liquid dripped on the deck, not only the sea water, but also the red blood. Garp, he, Lieutenant General Crane did not know when he had returned to, Marine 1. The ability of Lieutenant General Crane is not suitable for dealing with giants like tentacles. He was previously sent to Marine's battleships as firefighters to deal with the ghosts on the ghost ships. Now that Lieutenant General Crane returns, it shows that the undead have been wiped out. Dead. Garp's voice was extremely cold, his entire face seemed to be enveloped by black air. Such Garp Sengoku is no stranger. Whenever his emotions are on the verge of breaking out, Garp will look like this. 
Sengoku remembers that the last time he saw Garp's face was when Garp and five elders had a dispute and were fined and could never be promoted. As Garp put down the corpse in his hands, everyone in Marine could clearly see the hideous wound covered by Garp. The whole body of the soldier who reported the information turned into a pile of rotten meat. The right waist and bones of the back seemed to have been gnawed by something. The internal organs had long since disappeared. If the heart were not in the range of being attacked, it was estimated that he would have died without even reporting the information. This can also explain why this person has a relieved tone in his voice after reporting the information. In such anguish, the last marine soldier knew that he was not saved, and he wished to die directly after reporting the information. The whole, Marine 1, was terribly quiet, except for the roar of monsters on the side and the sound of tentacles slapped against the ice peak, no one spoke. Advertisement. Whether it was Garp, Sengoku, Aokiji, Akainu, or the 600 soldiers remaining on the deck, and Lieutenant General Crane who came later, they all had a cold face. Don't be stunned, are you going to let these soldiers die in vain, act quickly, or the monster will run away if they find something wrong. The Marshal Gang Gukong, who had never seen a figure, walked out from a corner and commanded loudly. Yes, the information exchanged for life cannot be wasted. As the plan maker, Sengoku was the first to come out of his emotions, and he was responsible for these dead soldiers. The first is to ensure that the sacrifices of these soldiers are valuable. Garp. Sengoku, who had changed from the form of the great Buddha, took a picture of Garp with a black face. It's okay. Let's get started. Garp, who has always been an optimist, was filled with murderous intent, and his knuckles were squeezed, cracking, with his hands clasped in fists. Aokiji and Akainu, do you have enough rest? Sengoku continued to give this order, and I don't need to go into details. Sengoku talked to them about all the plans before. There is no problem at all. Akainu and Aokiji replied in unison. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. A general at the level of Aokiji Akainu has seen countless blood and sorrow. Death is not enough to affect their emotions, but tragic sacrifices are always easy to touch people's hearts. Aokiji and Akainu flashed, and the next moment they reached the sky above the sea area reported by the soldier. The monstrous white cold air and red magma divided the entire sky into red and white halves, dispelling all the fog and darkness. Chin Luo, who was staying in his room and pretending to be dead, also saw this scene from a distance, with a black question mark on his face. Advertisement. Could this be a plot kill? Fitting skills. Since ancient times, red and blue have come out of CP. Gen Wushuang Flurry. But no matter what, Aokiji and Akainu did go straight away. Ice Age Waishin Joran. Aokiji's whole body turned into a blue-white streamer, like a cold star falling rapidly to the surface of the sea, wherever it passed, ice crystals formed in the sky and fell. With the fall of Aokiji, a cluster of ice crystals was propelled out of thin air from the falling sea, and a visible white-blue gas swept toward the surrounding sea with the ice crystal as the center, and it didn't stop until 200 meters. The sound of, Papa, Papa, sounded from the edge where the white and blue gas stopped, and ice peaks rose from the ground, but not toward the sky, but the sea floor. In just a few seconds, the 50-meter-thick icy peak continued to extend to the bottom of the sea, and the tentacles of the deep-sea monster, Paul, also froze. Bingfeng traps the body of the deep-sea monster, Paul, like a prison of ice. These ices are not ordinary ice crystals, but the blue ice of 10,000 years, even the deep sea monster, Paul, for a while. Can't break free. If Aokiji becomes the ice emperor, Akainu is the king of the flame demon who descended to the world. After Aokiji's action, Akainu was not in a hurry, as if he kept gathering momentum. A blazing red light appeared from Akainu's body first, and a flame ignited. Then the flames burned the flesh and blood into magma, and the magma expanded further. 5 meters, 10 meters, 20. The last thing that appeared in front of everyone was a Balrog king who was close to 200 meters. The Balrog king faintly has the face of a Kainu, no feet, holding flames from hell in his hands, lava sputtering from his body, and flame-like hair fluttering on his head. After the body was trapped, as if guessing something, the tentacles came back desperately to attack a Kainu and Aokiji, trying to prevent them from following actions. Dead, insect, a Kainu who became the king of the Balrog, was not afraid to face the tentacles far more than fifty. Between the waving of both hands, countless magma meteorites appeared out of thin air, 
and all the tentacles were blocked by the dancing hands. Advertisement. When Aokiji and Akainu started, Sengoku handed a rugby-sized bomb to Garp. Inside that bomb is an extract concentrate of the mineral Dina Rock, which is a powerful explosive that will be stolen by Zephyr in the future. However, the liquid in this football is a liquid extract of Dina Rock, which is far more powerful than the shaped bomb stolen by Zephyr later, but it is also more unstable. There is only such one in the entire marine, which is to be used as a research sample. Open the safety valve by 0.1 before throwing it away, the contents inside are very unstable. Sengoku ordered. Is it powerful enough to kill that monster? The dark-faced Garp couldn't see the change in expression. Enough. Chambordian islands are enough to destroy twice, this amount. Sengoku wouldn't understand Garp's meaning. That's good. Garp's voice seemed to be floating from a distance. When he got Sengoku's reply, the person had disappeared and appeared at a position 500 meters above the sea surface of the monster's body. Garp's feet spread apart, his right hand swung back, and the bomb that had opened the safety valve was held in his hand. A large number of black armament hockey gathered on Garp's right hand. After a while, Garp's right arm had grown three times thicker. Fist Bones. Yucatan Meteorite. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Chinese MTL Fan Fiction, Second Element Novel can be read at Hot MTL Novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 408. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Fist Bones. Yucatan Meteorite. The Yucatan Meteorite, a super large meteorite that fell on the Yucatan Peninsula and caused the extinction of the dinosaurs in legend, is also an extinct meteorite. Garp referred to this blow as Yucatan, which showed his horrible killing intent. Go to hell monster. Garp almost burst out angry flames in his eyes, gritted his steel teeth, his brows and lips were twisted into a ball. Finally, the momentum and strength on the right hand converged to the apex. The black armor made of armament hockey on Garp's arm is five times the size of the original arm. Things like the green veins violently rising on the black armor looked like the real arm grew bigger. The bomb was also covered by thick armament hockey, showing the appearance of beetle nuts enlarged to half a meter in length. Like an erupting volcano, it suddenly erupted when it was brewing to the extreme. Garp's attack clearly went through a long gathering, but it seemed so abrupt when it was shot. The bomb was thrown by Garp, and the bomb covering armament hockey turned into a black streamer. In an instant, the 17 speed of the bomb broke through the sound barrier. Advertisement. With only a pop. Garp could no longer capture the movement and position of the bomb. As the bomb flew, the huge reaction force and frictional collision against the air returned to Garp's right arm. The armament hockey armor, which was five times the size of the original arm, disintegrated inch by inch, and the clothes on his right hand turned into powder and floated in the air. This phenomenon continued until Garp's right shoulder stopped. Garp's clothes from right shoulder to waist were turned into ashes. The right hand that recovered the cause was thicker than the left hand, and the arm was still glowing purple. The strong reaction force even made Garp, who had been falling down, stopped his falling body, and there was a slight upward trend. Time freezes. In the still picture, the bomb is the only moving object. The bomb turned into a black beam of light, breaking through the shackles of space and time, and flew straight toward the target. The black beam of light broke through the fog and passed the battlefield between the tentacles of the Balrog King and the monster. The obstructing magma was directly knocked away by the black beam of light, and the tentacles blocking the road were directly pierced through a hole. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Then the black beam of light extended to the surface of the sea next to the ice crystal where Aokiji was. At that moment, the bomb turned into a beam of black light and hit the sea directly without any splashes on the surface. The black light shot so directly and brought the bomb to the front of the deep sea monster, Paul. Throwing crooked is impossible. Garp, who has been throwing cannonballs for half his life, has become superb at throwing things. Throw it wherever he wants. It is impossible to overturn this bomb. It is also impossible for a bomb to explode midway, even for an unstable substance, it will take a certain amount of time from reaction to explosion. Garp can guarantee that the bomb thrown this time has reached his limit in speed. Garp did it, he let the bomb from his hand to the target appear in less time than the explosion reaction time. The bomb that exploded with great inertia and speed just appeared on the bottom of the sea. In order to make the bomb appear intact, Garp covered the bomb with a thick armament hockey, which is actually very effective. 
Advertisement. Seeing the sudden emergence of an uneasy incandescent bomb, the orange eyes of the deep sea monster, Hull, revealed uneasiness. Even A.E. Governor, who had hollow eyes on the side, generated a stormy wave in the dark eye sockets. White light erupted from the bottom of the sea, rushed out of the sea, and painted the world with white, and everything was annihilated in the white light. From the circular prison of Aokiji siege, a beam of light with a radius of 200 meters, filling the entire ice peak prison, rose from the ground and broke through the sky. In front of the beam of light, the fog and clouds all dissipated. The beam of light continued to extend into the sky, and after nearly 20 seconds, the beam of light slowly disappeared. However, before that, the area several hundred nautical miles above the beam of light had been assimilated by white light. The heavens and the earth lose their color, and everything loses their voices. Those who were swallowed by white light only felt that these 20 seconds were as long as a year. When the white fades, the world will be different. All the tentacles that were dancing in the sky are gone, but the marine fleet is still facing another disaster. Although most of the fluctuations caused by the explosion were blocked by the ice peaks of Aokiji, the aftermath of the explosion and the backflow of seawater caused many marine warships to collide. The deep sea monster, Hall, launched the last wave of riots before the explosion, as if he knew he was doomed, and recklessly took a bite on the marine fleet. Garp only remembered being swallowed by white light, and then lost consciousness. When Garp woke up, he found that he was lying on the deck of Marine One, with Aokiji and Akainu who were also unconscious and hadn't woke up. Wake up! Sengoku's voice came out from behind Garp. It turned out that at the moment of the explosion, Sengoku changed into the form of a big Buddha and rescued Garp, Aokiji and Akainu in the aftermath of the explosion. Of course, this is also part of the plan, one of the aftermath tasks handed over to Sengoku. Advertisement. His, that monster is dead. Garp took a breath and touched his right arm with the action just now. Now Garp's right arm is not only swollen twice as large as before, but also covered with purple marks, which is obviously the whole one. Fracture of the right arm and severe congestion. I can't find a reason to be okay in this kind of explosion. O1O should have been reduced to ashes. I haven't received a report of new tentacles. If this monster wants to survive, unless... Sengoku paused, unable to find any reason, and continued, unless a miracle happens. That's good. Garp lay back after getting the answer, the obsession in his heart dissipated, and soon fell asleep again. Before Garp lay down, a ray of morning sun shot in through the clouds and fog that had been dissipated by the beam of light, and sprinkled on the marine fleet. Marine can't remember how long it has been since he drove into the fog. The mild sunlight brought hope in the ruins of the war, and the battle with the sea monster that lasted for one night finally came to an end. The surviving marine soldiers couldn't help sobbing in a low voice, both the joy of being alive and the sadness of the dead. But looking at the devastated sea, most of the fleet composed of Marine's strongest assembly order was destroyed. They were not destroyed in the battle with Luyun, but capsized in the strange mist. Marines can't even find an object of hatred, monsters. Are this crisis-ridden grand line? Gengukong began to order people to save lives and count the losses. Sengoku and Lieutenant General Crane were busy with the aftermath, and they both prepared for the worst. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at Hot MTL Novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 409. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. After entering the daytime, the remaining sea monsters evacuated at Chin Luo's request. Without the cover of night, these remnants are not Marine's opponents. Instead of letting Marine kill to vent his anger, he might as well continue to attack Marine at night. The cunning bone devil fish and the sea monsters with little frontal combat effectiveness retreated far away at the moment when the battle was unfavorable, and the ones who didn't run away were mostly the little brains and very cruel monsters. Especially the deep sea monsters. Marines seem to hate this creature. The other deep sea monsters called by Chin Luo except, Paul, only escaped. The others were all besieged and killed by Marine Lieutenant General. In the end, the ghost ship didn't save much. As for how long it would take for the undead that claimed to be immortal to recover and whether they could recover, Chin Luo didn't care. In Chin Luo's eyes, these summoned thugs were all one-time consumables, and they were worn out, and he did not intend to keep such an army. After this battle, the thugs Chin Luo summoned died 7 or 88. It is impossible to have another attack like this. 
Only small-scale sneak attacks and assassinations can be carried out. At noon, the surrounding fog filled all the holes formed by the previous battle, and the marine fleet was once again shrouded in the fog. But before that, Marine successfully completed the rescue of all the wounded and warships, but it was a pity that the sun once again left them. The final loss was also counted and passed to Marine's senior management. With a slap in a meeting room of Marine One, Marine Marshal Gangu Kong threw the report uploaded on the table. Advertisement. Everyone present has a copy of this report. It is a statistical report on the casualties and losses of the Marine fleet in one night. No one dared to talk. They all knew the reason why Marshal Gangukong was angry, but they wouldn't foolishly pose as a punching bag. Gangukong's angry eyes swept across the numerous generals present, including Zephyr, Sengoku, Garp, Lieutenant General Crane, the recovered Aokiji, and some other generals. Those present here are not the real power lieutenant generals of Marine's high-level officers, are several important officials of the general staff. These people are not very easy to handle, except the Major General standing on the other side of the long table in the conference room. The Major General was only ordered to report on the situation and submit a report. Regardless of whether it was intentional or not, in the end, the celebrity's light-minded young man was asked to endure the thunder anger from Marshal Marine. You, yes, that's your Major General. Tell me why the casualties of ordinary soldiers and officers are hit like this. Didn't I give orders to ordinary soldiers and officers this morning to repel the ghost ships and ordinary monsters? Those large monsters are all handed over to the lieutenant general. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Having said this, the marshal's steel-boned air was extremely heavy, and he, banged, his fist on the table, and then continued, Don't these dead people know how to hide? Do they think they're going to die by themselves? The losses of the warships were not great, most of them were only damaged and could be used after repairs. There were only six warships that were really damaged, including the warship damaged by the AE governor. The rest are mostly Air Force ships, that is, more than a dozen Marine soldiers on board the warship that were slaughtered the night before. It is easily pulled into the seabed by the tentacles without any interference. But Marine soldiers and low and middle level officers suffered a lot of losses. A quarter, together with the deaths of the previous nights, killed nearly a quarter of the entire Marine fleet on the way back to Marine. This result was completely unexpected and unacceptable for Gangukong. Advertisement. Marshal. I don't know, I'm just here to hand in the report. Seeing Marshal Gangukong called for an explanation, the Major General was shaking with fright and almost collapsed to the ground. It's a singing voice. Those siren changed to a passionate song later, and there was a problem with that singing. Seeing the trembling appearance of the Major General, Lieutenant General Crane sighed and took the initiative to relieve the innocent Major General. Lieutenant General Crane's explanation attracted the attention of everyone present. They all looked over, and their eyes were completely incomprehensible. It seemed that Lieutenant General Crane should continue to explain. You think it's just a morale invigorating song. Lieutenant General Crane looked at the people nearby and nodded, and continued. At first I thought so but then I thought these bone scum and stinky fish need morale. This song was sung for marine soldiers. Ordinary officers got red eyes and lost their minds. Of course, Lieutenant General Crane concealed that the sea monster used the sluggish tone to mobilize the vitality of the marine soldiers to make these soldiers so easy to take over, because this thing is not very glorious when it is said. These monsters, as expected, every one of them deserves to die. In addition to anger, Gang Bone Kong's voice added a sense of powerlessness. This time we have too little intelligence, and the enemy is clearly prepared. This is not a crime of war. A senior staff member comforted Gangukong. The old staff and Gangukong entered Marine at the same time. Yes, other people dare not speak at this time. Hey. A series of sighs, not knowing how many people's mouths came out, echoed in the conference room for a long time. Advertisement. The meeting continued. The losses of the Marine fleet were reported one by one. Except for serious casualties, the other losses were not significant. Finally, there is a list of the senior generals who died in battle. From the beginning of Shaozuo to the lieutenant general, the generals who died were all listed. Because the deep sea monster, Paul, was eliminated in time, Marine's senior generals were not killed much. There were also more than 20 unlucky people who died in battle at the Zuogon level. Sato's name is also among them. This farce is coming to an end, and it is of little significance to retain Sato's identity.
Chin Luo has no plans to meet those Sato's acquaintances. So Chin Luo arranged for Sato Sato to die in the final dying counterattack of the deep sea monster, Paul. No bones left, no evidence of death, it couldn't be better. Chin Luo is not the only one who has this idea. Gangu Kong also put the names of Aokiji and Akainu supporters Faris and Jock on the death list. The same cause of death was the death of the deep sea monster, Paul's mortal counterattack. The people who knew the inside story looked at each other and then stopped talking. Marshal Gangukong naturally had his plan, they wouldn't talk too much. Only seven of the brigadier generals and major generals died. Only one lieutenant general died, Lieutenant General Karodi. Karodi Sean, except that he himself is a lieutenant general. Anyone who has been in Marine for a few years will think of a person who mentioned this name, that is, the current Marine Marshal Gangukong. Sengoku wanted to speak out after seeing the name, but was immediately stopped by Lieutenant General Crane. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 410. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. When Sengoku saw the name of Lieutenant General Karodi Shan on the list, he looked like he wanted to ask Gangukong. The Lieutenant General Crane sitting next to Sengoku saw it clearly. It is not suitable to say this at this time, especially Sengoku. Lieutenant General Crane, who knew some inside information, kicked Sengoku secretly with his feet under the table, before Sengoku spoke. Sengoku turned his head and saw Lieutenant General Crane gave him a gesture of saying nothing. Although puzzled, Sengoku directly chose to believe in Lieutenant General Crane, and it seems that Lieutenant General Crane knows some news about Lieutenant General Karodi Sean. But what is going on with Lieutenant General Carlo D? This person is the confidant of Marshal Gangukong, how could he die, and the cause of death is unknown. We must know that Karodi Sean is not only the Lieutenant General that Marshal Gangukong most trusted, but also one of the few disciples accepted by Gangukong when he was young. Especially since the cause of death following the name is unknown, this is even more strange, and the Marshal Gang Gukong did not even mention the matter at the meeting. Could it be the same operation as Faris and Jock? What new plans does Marshal Gang Bone Kong have? Sengoku figured it out in his heart, and the others didn't mention anything based on the principle that more is worse than less. The meeting ended in such a weird tacit understanding. At the end of 387, Marshal Gang Gukong asked everyone to step up their patrols in the next few days and nights. No matter how wide the fog is, there will always be time to go out. Moreover, the entire marine fleet is only five days away from naval headquarters, so it's hard to say that this fog can spread all the way to naval headquarters. Advertisement. Little Crane, you wait. The people who had just finished the meeting walked out of the meeting room, and Sengoku ran to Lieutenant General Crane and stopped him. Sengoku wanted to figure out the reason why Lieutenant General Crane didn't let him speak. The smarter the person, the more curious. This is not a place to talk, go to your office. Lieutenant General Crane motioned to Sengoku to stay calm, and change to a place suitable for conversation. Garp doesn't know what his two friends are talking about, but he sees a lot of this kind of scenes, and he is very skilled in dealing with them. He took out a donut and followed them while eating, without saying anything. Thanks to the way I noticed you just now, I stopped you. Lieutenant General Karodi Shan's affairs should not be in front of Marshal Gangukong, especially you Sengoku. In Sengoku's office, Sengoku, Lieutenant General Crane and Garp sat opposite each other. Lieutenant General Crane said slowly with a cup of tea in his hand. Ha, Sengoku, what's wrong with you again? Garp, who has been working as a melon eater, heard the meaning of Lieutenant General Crane's words, how could he let go of the opportunity to tease Sengoku? But Garp soon regretted it. After saying this, Garp didn't see Sengoku turning into annoyance, and he also got the two people's eyes. With a look of caring for the mentally retarded, Garp angrily retracted the gradually embarrassing smile on his face, lowered his head and continued to eat senbei, aggrieved like a little daughter-in-law being bullied. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Ha ha. Okay. Can I know the reason? Garp's teasing attributes still eased the atmosphere, and Sengoku asked Lt. Gen. Suru. The last marine soldier you pulled up from the sea, the only one who reported the monster's body information should be Lieutenant General Karodi Sean. Lieutenant General Crane said while looking at the teacup in his hand. Sengoku's brows were twisted together, 
and his expression was very rich, with memories, doubts, shocks and so on. No doubt, you are eager to implement the plan. The marine soldier's body was carried away by Marshal Steel Skeleton by himself. He looked very decadent at the time. And you didn't notice because you went to implement the plan, but I was really true. I heard the Marshal Gangukong call the corpse Sean. Advertisement. As Lieutenant General he finished speaking, everything became clear. The last marine soldier who died was Lieutenant General Kuroti Sean. Most people call Kuroti when Lieutenant General Kuroti Sean is called Kuroti. Only Marshal Gang Bone Kong as his master can directly use his disciple's surname. Sean came to call it. Furthermore, it seems that Lieutenant General Karodi Sean was disguised at the time, so that Sengoku and others did not recognize him as the sacrificed Marine. This can also explain why Marshal Gang Bone Kong didn't mention the death of Lieutenant General Karodi Sean in the meeting, and the unknown cause of death later. There was silence in Sengoku's office. After learning the facts, the faces of all three of them sank. All three of them were there that day. The tragic sacrifice was the tragic death of 300 marine soldiers in less than 10 seconds. In that situation, it would be difficult for Garp to escape even if he fell to the bottom of the sea. How many unseen monsters under the sea and how many tentacles will be attacked, these only the soldiers who have sacrificed know. Sengoku stood up alone and left his office. Sengoku. Garp wanted to stop but couldn't tell. Both he and Lieutenant General Crane knew that Sengoku was going to see Gangukong. I made the plan, and I made the request of 300 soldiers. I am responsible. Sengoku's low voice came from the aisle. He felt that he had to go, even if he was scolded, beaten and killed. Meet the Marshal Gangukong. Marine 1, the door of the Marshal's empty office. Shanxi Admiral, the Marshal said that there is nothing to see you today. The two soldiers of Gangukong stopped Sengoku at the door like door gods. I have something important to ask the Marshal and get out of the way. Sengoku wanted to retreat these soldiers, but it didn't work. I can't do anything in front of the empty office. Advertisement. Marshal Steelbone Kong had previously confessed to these soldiers, and if Sengoku Admiral came to him, he would not be allowed to enter. Although the soldiers didn't know the reason, since it was the order of Marshal Gangukong, they would execute it meticulously. Please don't make us embarrassed, Shanxi Admiral. The Marshal asked us to tell you that everything is in his charge, please don't care. Sengoku, who was so blatantly rejected, knew that he could not do anything, and returned to his office in despair. A toxin called self-blame spread to his heart. It's not that marine seniors can ignore life, but that death hasn't come to them, and the pain is not serious enough. Think of the future Zephyr and Garp. In Marshal Marine's office, a man sitting quietly in Gangukong, staring at the photo of him and Lieutenant General Kuroti in his hand was in a daze. Tears do not exist for Marshal Marine. But how can there be no grief? The so-called not to blame, the responsibility is all rational rhetoric. Gangukong didn't dare to see Sengoku, fearing that he would want to kill him. The memories of the past and Kuroti came to my heart, the empty hand of the steel frame was gradually clenched, and the picture frame cracked with a, pop. Sengoku. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 411. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. There was a knock on the door, and after Sengoku had been away for a while, the soldiers of Gangukong knocked on the door of Gangukong office. Marshal, it's me. The soldier said softly after knocking for a while and none of them got a response. Now Marshal Gangukong is in a bad mood, and his soldiers still have some insights, and he dare not enter without a response from Gangukong. After waiting for a while, when the soldiers were considering whether or not to let it go, the voice of the Marshal Gangukong came out. What's the matter? Gangukong's voice looked a little hoarse. The soldiers did not dare to neglect and quickly reported the prepared remarks to Gangukong through the door. Sengoku Admiral just came here and wanted to meet the Marshal, but we stopped him, and now he has gone back. The soldiers outside the office of Gangukong maintained the motion of bending and making fists during the report, without the slightest slack or dissatisfaction. Just waited for a while again, Gangbone Kong was like Alzheimer's, and his response came after a period of time. Sengoku, I know. Gangukong's voice is very flat, seemingly without sadness or joy, but also feels too much emotion, which is the product of various emotions. Gangukong is not really Alzheimer's, but when someone mentions Sengoku's name, 
he fell into a memory once. He remembered that when Karoti called his master when he was a child, that immature and full of admiration. Advertisement. He also remembered the memory of his coming out of the war room. He promised Sengoku to be responsible for finding the death squad, but could not find a suitable brigadier general and major general to perform this nine dead mission. He was so entangled that he complained to his disciple Karoti about it. He will never forget the way his satisfying disciple comforted him easily, and in the end, Karoti acted bravely and disguised himself to perform the task. He stopped it, but was persuaded by Karoti with the reason that the lieutenant general could retreat even if he couldn't complete the task. He really couldn't find anyone at that time. He was worried that if the monster's body was not solved, the marine fleet would not be able to bear it, so he was relieved. Karoti had promised to do what he could. No, Karoti has always been true. He must have felt that he couldn't see clearly, so he dived deeper and determined the monster's body position before sounding the signal. It must be like this, otherwise there is no need to wait until the eighth second to ring Karoti's signal. Gang Gukong thought a lot on this day, and no one would bother this old man who had just lost his disciple. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Gang Gukong resented Sengoku's plan, resented himself for agreeing to find a death squad, resented the disciple's truth, resented the monster and this fog. In the end, Gangukong made a decision, and he overturned his previous decision to resign as Marshal Marine. Gangukong's resignation as Marshal Marine is not just to retreat behind the scenes or live in Mary Geois as usual. There are many supporters behind Gangukong. These supporters began to gather behind him when he was still a candidate for admiral, various families and forces, even the Celestial Dragon's family and the acquiescence of five elders. Advertisement. These supporters helped him become Admiral and Marshal Marine. Now these Gangukong supporters promise that as long as Gangukong resigns from the position of Marine Marshal, he will be the commander-in-chief of the world government. Originally, Gangukong had already arranged everything. He will get a higher position, Marine will also usher in a new Marshal, and his disciple Karoti will get an important seat in Marine's senior management and take over him to stay in Marine. Resources and connections in. In the original plan, Karoti will become an important figure in the remote control and supervision of Marine after Gangukong becomes the commander-in-chief of the world government. With the help of the world government, Gangukong and others completely controlled Marine, and after operating for so long, they turned Marine into an iron bucket. This kind of power does not mean to give up and give up, he can resign as Marshal Marine, but his voice must remain in Marine. It's all over, because Karoti died, just so worthlessly. In the resentment, Gangukong's desires soared unprecedentedly, and he still had a few disciples, although Karoti was the best. Before cultivating a new spokesperson, Gangukong would never resign as Marshal Marine. He believed that the supporters behind him would understand what he meant. Many people in the Marine fleet suffered from insomnia this night. These Marines are not sleepy, they are actually very tired and want to rest, but fear invades their hearts. The monsters attacked and died for several consecutive nights, making them afraid to fall asleep, fearing that they would become eternal once they fell asleep. The kraken and the skeletal demon fish came as scheduled. Only these two creatures still have a large number of them. Other monsters and ghost ships only have three or two kittens left. It doesn't matter if they don't come. The skeletal devil fish can set off a limited amount of wind and waves, and the strength of this creature itself is not very good, relying on the number and assassination ability. The current marine patrol is extremely powerful, with Kazaru, Aokiji, and Akainu taking turns on duty. Without Shin Luo's participation, he was quickly arrested. The assassination of the bone demon fish was ineffective, and the cunning and timid creatures retreated directly, and decisively abandoned their inaccessible partners before marine was surrounded. Advertisement. Zero. That night, the corpse of the demon fish that had been well preserved left nearly one-third of the corpses on the marine fleet, most of which were frozen into ice sculptures by Aokiji, and fewer than 100 marine soldiers were successfully assassinated. On the contrary, the siren, who has never shown the mountains or the water, used a song with hallucinatory effects to cause the marine soldiers to kill each other, causing a lot of killing. These siren, damn, all damn. Give me the order to want this race from marines and bounty hunters all over the world, and I want to make all of them into specimens. At the regular meeting on the second day, Gangukong roared at all marine generals, not only cursing the sea monster, but also some marine generals were also angered by General Gangukong for incompetence. 
Many people felt that Marshal Gangukong seemed to be a little different, and it was not clear to say the specifics, at least he was more irritable than before. Considering that Marshal Gangukong had just lost his disciple, these people left this discovery behind. After all, in the face of painful grief, it is normal for people to become irritable, and even a marshal of steel bone like an iron man cannot be spared. It is estimated that apart from Gangukong himself, only three people understood the anomaly of Gangukong. He has been hiding from the side, watching the high level marine Shin Luo and the two Deadpools who come and go freely. Although Deadpool knew the situation, they would only report it to five elders. They didn't even care about Marine's life or death. And Shin Luo, he was thinking about how to make the fire burn more vigorously. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 412. Arrow underscore back underscore iOS underscore new previous chapter next chapter arrow underscore forward underscore iOS. Advertisement. There are a few empty warships at the back of the marine fleet. These are the few surviving ships of the 11 warships whose crews disappeared a few days ago. No one was garrisoned on these warships, and most of them were dragged into the sea by the monsters of the deep sea in the battle before dawn yesterday. Seeing that these warships were in good condition, Sengoku arranged for the last side of the marine fleet. Chained with a steel cable, let the warship in front tow away without worrying about falling behind suddenly. Therefore, these warships do not even have a crew or helmsman, and the only visitor is Marine, who patrols at a fixed time every day. Especially in the recent night assassinations have continued, and after a great battle, Marine soldiers have been seriously injured. Those who are willing to come to these Air Force ships to garrison at this time, in addition to the long life, only the long life is too long. As a result, Chin Luo, who lost the cover of, Sato Sheyasuo, was so happily staying on one of the warships. As for the marines who patrolled, a Sharingan's illusion didn't make these patrols clear in the past. Chin Luo couldn't see Diodi beside them. The room Chin Luo chose happened to be the room of the Brigadier General Rai who was killed by him. No way, who made the highest rank among these warships be this Brigadier General? No matter how the Brigadier General's room is, in terms of size and decoration style, it is better than that of the generals of the Zagon level. Don't look at the previous, Sato Sato who was also the highest commander on the warship, but his room was also a small study room with a bed and a table. Chin Luo never wronged himself when he was able to choose. Chin Luo didn't feel much resistance to living in the room of the person he killed. Strictly speaking, Chin Luo was indeed a heartless person. To be honest, the miserable thing is that Brigadier General Raha Yi died. Chin Luo first ate his dim sum, killed his people, took his saber, stabbed the person he liked, and finally occupied his bed. For the dead Brigadier General, this is simply the five, good luck. Advertisement. People I like. And. Like. Chin Luo seems to have grasped something crucial, but he can't remember it. After thinking for a long time but didn't get what he wanted, Chin Luo's eyes began to look around the room. From the bed to the bookshelf, finally came to the desk in front of him. On the desk are the standard equipment of Marine Desk, Quill Pen, documents, and photo frames. In the photo frame is a group photo of many people. In the photo, except for the dead Brigadier General Hei and some generals who were cut off by him, Chin Luo knew only the female Grandmaster Feely. If he found it, how could he forget this female Dazuo? This is a key role. Chin Luo stretched out his hand to buckle the photo frame down. Maybe he thought of something interesting. His eyes shone brightly. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Now that I think of Feely, the female grandmaster, Chin Luo plans to make a plan. Who would have thought that a random game of chess played at random at the beginning has now become the key entry point for Chin Luo's future plans? When the afternoon meal arrived, the sun quickly sank. In the fog that was already lacking in light, after the sun set, it was officially announced that darkness once again dominated the sea. In the medical room of Marshal Gangukong's car, Marine 1, there are several small rooms specially provided for high-level training. After waking up, Feely Dazuo, a female marine officer, was placed in one of the rooms. The military rank of the female chief is definitely not a high-level marine. The reason why she is placed in it is that surveillance, house arrest and protection means far more than others. 
Advertisement. Marine soldiers and generals have suffered a lot of casualties these days, and all the medical staff have gone out to take care of the patients. In the entire medical room of Marine No. 1, there is no one else except Fili Mei Zuo and the two Marines standing at the door of the room where she is located. Boom, dong, dong, Fili female grandson's room sounded a continuous knock on the door. Who? At this time, there are not many people who come to see her. Fili female Dazuo is a little wondering who the person is. Sir, it's me who delivered the food. I delivered dinner as requested. You open the door. Across the frosted glass, the visitor raised the food box in his hand. Really? I'm also very hungry. What kind of food is this tonight? Feely female Dazuo smiled to deal with the people, and when she said it was a little playful, it sounded like a greedy girl acting like a coquettish girl. Same. The real situation is that when she heard that someone asked her to open the door, she knew that the person who pretended to deliver the food at the door was not the usual little soldier, and that the person who came was bad. Feely directly found Gang Gukong press the sender left for her by others. Curry potatoes with octopus, tonight's main course, I think you will like it. Outside the female consort's room, Chin Luo stood silently. At this time, Chin Luo continued his Xiaozuo dress, but put on a white clown mask on his face. Chin Luo doesn't worry that the female ambassador will recognize him, but it's not good if his face is seen. Even though there was a door, Chin Luo knew that the female grandson inside had discovered that something was wrong with him and sent out a distress signal. And now, it is estimated that the female Dazuo is also delaying time, waiting for the marine executives who received the news to complete the encirclement. But it doesn't matter, Chin Luo's initial purpose was to make a noise, and the female Dazuo's behavior was just to help him attract more marines' attention. For this reason, Chin Luo also gave an interesting name to the first phase of his plan, codenamed, Takeaway. Advertisement. Feeling almost waiting, Chin Luo smiled and twisted the door lock with his hand. In an instant, the door lock was reimbursed. Miss Feely, your takeaway is here. Chin Luo's cold voice was under the white clown mask. It's you, it's you, that night. The female Dazuo saw Chin Luo who easily opened the door and came in. The familiar Xiaozuo clothes, standard long sword and figure were undoubtedly the person who nailed her through the wall that night. Fear, a huge fear lingers in the female Dazuo's heart. Is the other party unable to help but want to kill? For the first time, the female Dazuo frantically complained about the weakness of the two marines at her door. In addition to pretending, these two marines may not even be able to beat her. Now they encountered a more fierce existence, and the two wastes were cleaned up without even making any alarms and abnormal sounds. Knowing too much is not good for you. Chin Luo gently placed the food container on the ground, drew out the standard long sword from his waist, and pointed the tip of the sword at the female master. As a white training flashed past, the standard long sword in Chin Luo's hand slashed towards the female Dazuo's neck. The big female Zuo gave up resisting as if she was frightened. As long as the sword was hit, it didn't take much effort, and death was about to come. Get out of the way. Two lights, one red and one blue, suddenly smashed the wall behind the female Dazuo and hit Chin Luo. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at Hot MTL Novel for free. Advertisement. Back to index page. Chapter 413. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. A piece of hard ice pierced out from the female Dazuo's right rear obliquely, forming a barrier in front of the female Dazuo. The invisible sword energy Chin Luo chopped out fell on the barrier formed by the ice, exploding ice debris in the sky. In contrast, the female eldest daughter under the protection of the ice was safe and sound, and Chin Luo's attack did not touch her. Chin Luo, who has a full-level physical body, has the ultimate strength in a random slash. Even if the ice blocks a sword energy to complete the mission, the cracked ice barrier has no spare power to block the long sword in Chin Luo's hand. But taking advantage of the time when the ice blocked, the red light also came to Chin Luo. As it approached, the red light became real, it turned out to be the hot and steaming magma. The fist-like magma didn't care about it, and directly slashed the long sword. The visitor seems to be sure that Chin Luo has a marine-style long sword in his hand. It has neither added sea stone or other substances that can restrain the demon fruit power nor attached armament hockey, and is not worried about injury. Shouldn't it be said that it is a narrow encounter, and the rogue wins? 
The slash meets the magma, and Shin Luo's slash cuts the magma into two stages first. But this moment was nothing to magma, and the pain of mosquito bites was not produced. In the next second, the magma that had been chopped into two pieces was fused together, and the long sword that came out between the two pieces of magma was wrapped around. This ordinary marine standard long sword was just in front of Chin Luo's slamming force. Now, after being swallowed by magma, the blade dissolves in less than a second. The magma cast unabated, and hit Chin Luo's chest. Advertisement. Chin Luo was annoyed for the first time that he hadn't mastered hockey. In front of many marines, Chin Luo doesn't want to expose some abilities that only Lu Yun or Chin Luo have, just telling others that you are making a ghost. Therefore, without using special abilities, Chin Luo has nothing to do with this kind of rogue. Throwing away the marine standard long sword with only the handle in his hand, Chin Luo stepped back to avoid the nearby magma. The three people who had just fought each other backed away, and the red and blue rays of light also changed their humanity. Who else could it be if it wasn't Aokiji or Akainu? the familiar ice and magma, and the constant attack method of 10,000 years. You said that although Aokiji and Akainu are very different in character, they are basically the same regardless of the number of attacks. A uh, big spitfire, big spitfire, or big spitfire, is extremely boring. The other is the ice age, and then the ice age, without creativity. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. If you hear different moves from the mouths of these two people, you must have magnified them. There is no one at this point. Aokiji, Akainu, are you here like this? A mechanically cold voice came from Shin Luo's mouth, with a hint of doubt. This doubt was not all pretend, although Shin Luo knew that he was drawing Marine over. But I didn't expect it to be Aokiji and Akainu. Also, how does Shin Luo feel that the three future Marine Admiral of Aokiji, Akainu and Kazaru are a bit shifting towards the rocket's trio. The trio of the trio always ran into the apocalyptic tank Chin Luo head on. Regardless of whether he is the identity of Chin Luo or Lu Yun when he appears, this suicide attack tricycle is always going to crash himself into pieces, or the one that has been repeatedly defeated. Advertisement. In a word, it's not enough. Hey, since we mentioned the Marine Three Strong, Akainu and Aokiji are here, it doesn't make sense that the fastest Kazaru will be gone. Shin Luo remembered such a thought in his mind, a certain string in his heart moved, and suddenly there was something on his head. Feel. Suddenly, Shin Luo fell short and withdrew a few meters to the rear right. At the same time, a yellow light flashed, attacking at Shin Luo's position just now, arousing a lot of smoke. If Shin Luo didn't leave early, he would hit Shin Luo's head to the back firmly from the back. In the smoke and dust, Kazaru's body slowly appeared, and his feet were still condensed with yellow light. Aokiji, Akainu, it must be the two of you who have exposed flaws. Otherwise, how could my light speed kick attack fail? Kazaru's voice was embarrassing that the sneak attack was unsuccessful. He used to work hard in front of Aokiji and Akainu before. Blowing how awesome this move is, one hit kills, and he never missed it. If Chin Luo knew it, he would sigh. What a coincidence, you are using sounds against the west, and so do I. I didn't do anything, you ask Akainu. Aokiji ignored Kazaru's villain and complained first, and didn't contradict him. Instead, he kicked the ball to Akainu. Kazaru, don't blow your face and feel ashamed to blame others, you can cooperate with everything you can do, and you can blame someone on your own. A flaming Akainu attacked on the spot. You, Kazaru glared at Akainu, and was interrupted by Aokiji when he was about to refute. Stop quarreling, the guests are going to run away. Are you responsible? Aokiji said, summoning a large number of ice crystals with his right hand, sweeping, and attacking the figure wearing a white clown mask and Shaozuo clothes that was running out. Huh. Kazaru snorted lightly, turning his body into a streamer to intercept Shin Luo. Akainu, knowing that he can't keep up, he hung himself in the back with a, shave. Advertisement. Shin Luo saw Kazaru quarreling with Akainu before. Naturally, he wouldn't be like the villain in the movie and wait for them to finish the conversation. Now that Marine's attention has been attracted, Shin Luo plans to withdraw, and the second step of the plan will begin. Wait, I don't know which general you are 380. Can you take off the mask and take a look? Aokiji chased to a position two meters behind Shin Luo, and he appeared very casual on an ice skateboard. Shin Luo just relied on the strength of his flesh body to run. 
he didn't even have the skill of Marine Six Styles to shave. The speed could not pull Aokiji and Kazaru apart. Shin Luo wouldn't pay attention to him, but the fastest Kazaru was always reluctant, punching the left and the right to force Chin Luo to stop, but Chin Luo swayed or caught him casually. Soon, Chin Luo arrived on the left deck of Marine 1. Had it not been for Aokiji and Akainu that they had come out through the wall on the right deck, Chin Luo had planned to leave directly on the right deck. Grab him. Sengoku, Garp, and other lieutenants were basically attracted by him after a glance. Fortunately, he didn't care about the quarrel between Akainu and Kazaru. It would be a little troublesome if it was later. No need to send it far, goodbye. After speaking, Chin Luo jumped out of the sea, turned around and threw five black balls in the direction of Marine, and then threw another one next to him. The black ball was not thrown fast, and the black ball thrown at the Marine Generals was directly cut to pieces by the Marine Generals. The black ball is not an explosive, it emits a lot of black smoke when it touches something. Thick black smoke emerged from six places, and Shin Luo's figure disappeared with a sound of falling into the sea. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 414. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In the fog where visibility is not high, the effect of black fog blocking the line of sight is better. General Marine who has been baptized by a series of monster attacks, is even more frightened, afraid that the black smoke is poisonous. At the beginning, he didn't dare to breathe in the black smoke, and he was messed up. When the black smoke dissipates, Chin Luo's shadow can be found nowhere. What about people? Why are they missing? This is the first reaction of most generals when they can't find the attacker. The generals walked to the position where Chin Luo had just disappeared, and looked out at the sea outside, with no game. I just wanted to hear the sound of falling into the sea. In the crowd who had just panicked, there were still some people who had excellent hearing and noticed the sound of falling into the water mixed with the sound of the waves. A lieutenant thought for a while and said loudly. Hey, I heard it too. I thought I heard it wrong. After the lieutenant general was put forward, there were continuous generals expressing support. The lieutenant general did not clearly say that the attacker might have fallen into the sea and ran away but many generals couldn't help but think so. The first to put the idea into practice was Aokiji. When the attacker disappeared, Aokiji was the closest, and he naturally heard the sound of falling water. Advertisement. At the time of the ice, Aokiji reached out to the sea below, intending to freeze the entire area of the sea and catch turtles in an urn to the attacker. However, the blue light had just condensed in Aokiji's hands a half meter wide, 10-meter-long icicle, which was stopped by Sengoku before it touched the sea. Reason. Aokiji naturally wouldn't suspect that there was something wrong with Sengoku, there must be some reason for Sengoku Admiral to stop him. Aokiji obeyed Sengoku's arrangement, but he also wanted to know the reason. Those lieutenants and major generals who came around were equally puzzled. It's too late to freeze the sea. The attacker has already run away, and I have a hunch that the attacker did not fall into the sea. Sengoku has always been known as a wise general and among marines, and he said his thoughts. Later, no matter whether or not they understood Sengoku's meaning, the other generals did not object. Garp, go to the opposite warship and ask if any marine soldiers actually saw someone falling into the sea just now. I want the exact information, not a simulated answer. Sengoku ignored the reactions of other generals and started directly. Give instructions. Explaining to these people is too troublesome and he might as well use it to catch the attacker if he has the skill. Garp took the order, and used several, shaves, in conjunction with, moonwalk, and flew onto the opposite warship. The distance between the opposing warship and marine number one is not very close. It is completely impossible for a person to fly silently from marine number one to the opposing warship. And the other marine soldiers who were not blocked by the black smoke were not blind. It is impossible that no one saw so many soldiers on the two warships. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. As a result, the possibility of the attackers rushing to the opposing warship was the first to be silently rejected by many generals in their hearts. Soldier, please inform the various warships. Pay attention to people who are wet from the sea during this period. No matter what the rank, they will be taken directly to wait for interrogation. Sengoku pointed to the marine soldier on the edge of the crowd and gave new instructions. Sengoku did nothing, 
and although he had a foreboding that the attacker did not escape by falling into the sea, he was still prepared to block the attacker's escape route. Advertisement. Many Marines secretly said. Second, Sengoku's method is much more effective and convenient than Aokiji's behavior of freezing the entire surface of the sea. When everything was done, Garp almost asked. When he returned, Garp was carrying two Marine soldiers. What are you doing? Sengoku was a bit speechless and asked Garp to ask. He was fine, and directly brought two Marine soldiers back. Sengoku, who knows Garp well, can't think of what Garp is doing. You two repeat what you just said. First, Garp didn't bother to use his brain, and second, to prevent his own statement from having problems or omissions. Whenever he encountered this situation, he would catch witnesses as evidence. The generals looked at the two soldiers captured by Garp, and wanted to see what medicine was sold in the gourds of the two Garp Sengoku. Being watched by so many marine generals, the two soldiers were a little nervous, and they couldn't help stammering. The marine soldier on the left spoke first. The movement of marine one just now was a bit loud. Many soldiers on the warship were looking in the direction of marine one. Lieutenant General Garp asked me if I saw the attacker fall to the bottom of the sea, no. It's just that many of my soldiers saw a shadow flashing past, and then water splashed on the sea. It means that the attacker fell into the sea and escaped. A major general called out, seemingly an unconfirmed sentence, but his tone was very positive, basically he wanted to beat Sengoku in public, who claimed that the attacker did not fall into the sea. What's the hurry? Keep talking. Garp glanced at the same major general. Recently, people and ghosts have come out to show a sense of existence. After speaking, he pointed to another soldier. I saw the same, but I was a little confused. Advertisement. The soldier pointed at by Garp paused, sorted out his thoughts, saw everyone watching him, and quickly continued, there is a problem with that splash. I usually play diving. That splash is too small and too short. It's not like it was caused by a person falling into the sea. And that figure is very vague, I suspect. Doubts, of course the marine soldier dared not continue to say, he could not afford to be responsible. But the generals present are all sensible people, and they don't know what they are doubting. Since the attacker did not fall into the sea or ran to other warships, where would the attacker be? Sengoku smiled and looked at the many marine generals, his voice full of playful smiles. As the so-called most dangerous place is the safest place, I suspect that the attacker played a hand in the dark under the lamp. He is still on Marine 1, and may even be among us. Sengoku carefully observed the reactions of the crowd. Unfortunately, little gain. What does Shanxi Admiral mean? Are you suspicious of us and intend to imprison us? As these words fell, everyone became calmer, and the scene was noisy. Sengoku is right, the attacker is still on this ship. A loud voice sounded, and the marshal of the belated future appeared, and behind him were two dead servants. Are you sure? Before coming, Gangukong went to find two dead waiters. There is no spatial fluctuation, and no one falls into the sea. This is Deadpool's answer. After receiving Deadpool, Gangukong came directly to this side, but he received bad news halfway through. The corpse of Marine One was destroyed, but there were the corpses of Faris and Jock. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 415. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Time goes back to the moment Shin Luo jumped out of the deck. According to the plan, Shin Luo threw out the prepared smoke bombs, one exploded in place, and the other five to five different places. At that time, the marine generals who chased him were more concentrated, and there were fewer places to be enveloped in black smoke, and there were even a lot of black smoke bombs prepared as props. So it didn't matter if two smoke bombs were thrown at random to no one's place, just as a cover. After the first two smoke bombs next to Chin Luo exploded, he took a very short time to wrap his marine cloak in the scabbard of the standard long sword and quickly threw it into the sea, making it look like he fell into the water. Chin Luo himself used the simplest ninjutsu phantom technique copied in Sharingan into a black ball and hid it among the last three thrown, and came to a corner covered by shadows. Then Chin Luo exploded the last smoke bomb in his hand, and his plan to escape the cicada was completed. It's just a very simple application of phantom art, without chakra, other energy can be used instead. Just because Marine doesn't understand ninjutsu, it can also play a role in hiding things. 
After finishing everything, Shin Luo quickly left 107 before Sengoku and the others reacted. In the middle of the journey, he solved a marine soldier who was on the order. He put on the clothes of a regular marine soldier and went directly to the corpse room of marine number. 1. Because the movement of the battle with Aokiji Akainu just now was not small, and it happened on the flagship Marine 1. Along the way, Shin Luo encountered Marine who was not sure about the situation and rushed to the place of the incident. At this time, the entire Marine number 1 was agitated, and there were a lot of people walking in a hurry. No one noticed Shin Luo's disguised Marine soldier. Advertisement. What's more, the corpse room is not a secret place, and there are no guards outside. Even because of Jock and Faris, Gengu Kong sent at most two people to guard the room where the corpses of two people were placed in the innermost room of the corpse. Shin Luo quickly resolved the staff on duty in the corpse room, and then looked to the innermost room, where the bodies of Jock and Faris and the guards in the last two corpses were placed. The two guards inside the door seemed to be a pair of brothers. The Marshal Gengu Kong asked them to watch the two corpses without being noticed by others, so they chose to guard inside the door. Shin Luo came to the door of the room and could vaguely hear the sound inside the door. Brother, it's noisy outside, is there something happening? Don't worry about it, watch it carefully. Shing is really unlucky, and was sent by the marshal to guard the corpse. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. It seems that the two brothers have different personalities. After receiving no other useful information, Shin Luo pushed the door directly in. Who are you? The outrageous brother was startled by Chin Luo who suddenly opened the door and asked angrily. His brother looked at Chin Luo with a bad look. Shish. I was sent by the marshal. Chin Luo lowered his voice, made a quiet gesture, and then continued playfully, take your life. Before Chin Luo finished speaking, he had already shot, and the left and right palm sword were cut on the necks of the two brothers respectively. It doesn't matter whether the brothers are listening to his explanation or guarding against him. Advertisement. Shin Luo's action is to pay attention to the three words, fast and accurate, and the spine of the two brothers' necks broke directly into fragments. The two brothers couldn't make any other noises, so they fell to the ground and swallowed their last breath. Grow your eyes. He clapped his hands, as if he did a trivial thing. Shin Luo ignored the brothers after using two palms, and opened his eyes to look for the bodies of Jock and Faris. I found them. These are the two. Shin Luo said silently in his heart, and quickly locked the target. There are three rows of more than ten cold storages in the room. Shin Luo opened the two in the middle, which was one of the real goals of his trip, the bodies of Jock and Faris. The assassination of the female chief was just to attract attention and to call in more marine generals. Afterwards, the destruction of the bodies of Jock and Faris was the master of the plan, and the cause of their deaths was announced in a different direction. These steps are intertwined, and finally can deepen the suspicion between Marine. The fake Lu Yun corpse was not placed in the corpse room, but as a war trophy, I didn't know where it was placed. Marine obviously has no good intentions about this corpse and intends to use it to make some articles. If he sees it, Shin Luo is willing to deal with it smoothly. However, since it was hidden, Shin Luo didn't intend to grow out of it. Anyway, the living flowing clouds will soon appear in front of Marine again. By then, it will be just a corpse with an illusion. Repulsion Storm. At the two corpses, an invisible storm-like repulsion swept past. Pulled violently, the two corpses turned into two piles of flesh and blood, and then splashed on the wall of the room. By the side of Marine number. One marshal's office, a Marine ensign was about to watch the excitement, but from the corner a Marine soldier staggered and bumped into him, and then fell on the ground. The second lieutenant looked at the soldier who fell on the ground, and the soldier just looked up. Isn't this soldier Chin Luo leaving the corpse? The eyes of the two met in the air, and the light of Mangekio Sharingan in Chin Luo's eyes flashed, and the second lieutenant fell into the illusion. Advertisement. In the second lieutenant's eyes, the soldier had a deep wound on his chest, and the blood was flowing continuously. The soldier vomited blood and said to him, There is an accident in the corpse, go to the marshal. After speaking, the soldier fell to the ground and died. As usual, the second lieutenant dared not care about this kind of thing, did not dare to see the marshal, let alone know where the marshal was. But this time the second lieutenant felt that something in his heart had been encouraging him to see the marshal, and there was a premonition that the marshal was in front of him. Maybe it was because someone died, 
in front of his eyes just now, even though the ensign felt weird, he went to the marshal with his feelings. After the ensign left, the dead soldier stood up, where there were wounds and blood. Shin Luo patted his clothes and sneered and left. He was going to watch the show at Sengoku. Gang Gukong was walking on the way to the medical room, when someone behind suddenly ran towards him calling the marshal. He turned his head and saw a panicked ensign, but he couldn't remember who this man was. Marshal, something went wrong in the corpse. The second lieutenant didn't expect to meet the marshal. As soon as he ran in front of Gangukong, he confessed the dead marine soldiers. What's going on? How could something go wrong in the corpse room? Can you tell me more specifically? Gangukong had a bad premonition. But the second lieutenant knew so much, so he described the experience he had just done to the steel frame completely. Gangukong squinted his eyes and thought for a while, and said to a soldier, You, follow this ensign to find the dead marine soldier. For the rest, follow me to the corpse room. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 416. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. As soon as Gang Bone Kong arrived at the door of the corpse room, he could smell the bloody smell coming from the empty door, and there was also a rotten smell that had deteriorated and expired. There was not a living mouth in the corpse room, and all the staff and guards died of broken neck bones, and of course no blood was seen. The peculiar smell of blood came from the innermost room, the room where the bodies of Jock and Faris were placed. No need to look, Gangukong knew that the bodies of Jock and Faris had been destroyed. Marshal. A soldier ran in, it was the personal soldier who had been sent by Gang Bengkong to search for the dead marine soldier with the ensign. I didn't find it, Steel Bones asked the soldier without knowing it. Then the soldiers looked at Gang Gukong in surprise at Marshal's prophet, and then said, Yes, according to the ensign, we went to the dead marine soldier, but we couldn't find the corpse or even what the ensign said. No blood is seen. Understood. Go down. Gangu Kong's performance gave the soldiers a kind of appearance that the marshal had known for a long time, and the information reported by the soldiers seemed very plain. Advertisement. Marshal. Is there anything else? Gangu Kong glanced back at his soldier this time. The soldier suppressed the surprise in his heart and continued to report. The second lieutenant showed signs of madness after he couldn't find the marine soldier in his mouth, and we have controlled it. What will the subordinate do next? The subordinate means will that ensign be interrogated. Interrogation is not necessary. This second lieutenant is probably just a randomly selected item. It should be some kind of hypnosis. Ask him about the scene of the marine soldier and the appearance of the soldier, and see if you can find any spiders. Trace. Gangu Kong waved his hand to signal his soldiers to leave, but immediately called them to stop. You set up the ensign, bring someone over to control the corpse, and search carefully to see if there is any order from me. Don't let other people in. In the end, Gangu Kong confirmed that Sean's body was fine and left with the two Deadpools. He wanted to turn with Sengoku and them as soon as possible. He had a hunch that the attacker had not left Marine 1. At this time, Sengoku just confirmed that the attacker did not fall into the sea, but might be hiding in the crowd. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. When many marine generals were in an uproar, Gang Bone Kong also happened to arrive, and loudly announced behind everyone, Sengoku is right. The attacker is still on this ship. At the beginning, many marine generals who were making noisy saw that Marshal Gangu Kong was coming, and they shut up and stopped speaking. The crowd voluntarily stepped aside and let Gangu Kong and the two dead waiters walk to the side of Sengoku and others. The attacker came in from the outside fleet. As soon as I received the news, I blocked the way to leave Marine 1. During this period, no one left the ship except for a few messengers. So the attacker was still on the ship, and if he wants to leave, he will return to you silently. There is no way to hide a strange face on Marine 1. Advertisement. Gang Bone spoke categorically to the numerous generals, and announced that all the generals were suspect. Not only is the steel hollow, but even Sengoku can feel it. This time, the Marine General got too much too early. Although Gangu Kong issued a notice requesting the Lieutenant General to come and help arrest the assailant, what was going on with the Lieutenant Generals on the back foot as soon as the messenger had left, and the uninvited Major Generals. Gangu Kong looked at the black and black Major General and Lieutenant General, somewhat speechless, as if these people had been notified in advance. Yes, I was notified in advance. 
There was a thought in Gang Bone Kong's mind, and he figured it out in an instant. What's the matter? Sengoku noticed that Marshall Steel Skeleton's face changed slightly, depending on what bad things had been thought of. Just on my way here, something happened to the corpse room. There was an accident in the corpse room. Could it be the two corpses? Okay. Sengoku knew that he and others had been played by the attacker. The attacker's target was the two corpses from the beginning. The assassination of the female Dazuo is just a pretense. If you can kill it, you can do it easily. It doesn't matter if you can't kill it. As long as it can cause a commotion, you can call many generals on Marine 1. You must know that although the corpse room is not a tightly guarded place, there are also many other departments and marines nearby, and it is too difficult to stop the corpse room without making any movement. As long as a little movement is made, the entire marine number. One marine will be attacked, and then it will be impossible to escape. But it was different just now. Because of the attack and escape drama directed and performed by the attacker, the entire marine one was in turmoil. In the noise, even if the corpse room made any movement, it was covered in the commotion of the crowd. Finally, sneak back to the many generals and leave marine one without knowing anything. Advertisement. Okay. This assailant really has a good calculation, and there are clues hidden in those two bodies that have not been discovered that the assailant is desperate to destroy. Sengoku cursed damn him secretly in his heart. There is an irritation that is suppressed in IQ. I have to say that the content and plan of Sengoku brain supplement are very achievable. Had it not been for Chin Luo's ability to move around with water, Chin Luo himself would have believed. Dot dot dot. Facing the mystery question and answer between Gangukong and Sengoku, the marine generals present were all very hard-hearing people who could hear clearly, but the meaning was completely unclear. Sengoku Admiral, what's going on in the corpse room? If something goes wrong in the corpse room, does it mean that the attacker is not among us? We haven't left since we came. A major general in the crowd asked, his tone of voice there is also a kind of helplessness that has been wronged, and those who don't know really think that this major general is unintentional. Yeah. What's the matter with those two corpses, I wonder if the marshal and admiral hid something and didn't tell us. Kazaru, who had never spoken and had no sense of existence, stood before no one thought. Come out and take the words of the major general. It doesn't look like Kazaru doesn't know Jock and Faris, or from whom he got the news. As well as the major general just now, it seems that the relationship with Kazaru is not that simple. As long as you are not stupid, you know that there is something in Kazaru's words. Sengoku knew that if the matter was not clarified today, these marine generals would not cooperate with the subsequent search. I just don't know if these were also arranged by the attacker, and whether Kazaru and the attacker knew each other. Sengoku's face was so dark that Kazaru felt a little hairy. In fact, Kazaru just wanted to take the opportunity to announce that Jock and Faris were killed by Aokiji Akainu's abilities, and to add a bit of blockage to Aokiji Akainu, who had been pressing on him. He had no other ideas. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 417. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. If Kazaru knew he had been contacted by Sengoku with the attacker, Kazaru would probably have the heart to die. The conscience of heaven and earth, he really just wanted to hide Kazaru and smear Aokiji Akainu by the way. There was only such a small request. Fortunately, Sengoku only had this kind of suspicion. It was not certain that Kazaru and the attacker were really hooked up. At least Kazaru must not be the attacker. Just now, Kazaru and the attacker played a game here. From Sengoku's point of view, Kazaru did not release the water. There is another reason, it may be a bit hurtful to say it. Sengoku feels that Kazaru does have the motivation to cooperate with the attacker, just as he is trying to discredit Aokiji Akainu. But there is a little difference. This series of attacks and assassinations is not a small crime, whether it is the assassination of senior generals or the combined sea monster to slaughter Marine. Once found to be in a state of immortality with the entire Marine, Sengoku believes that Kazaru does not have the guts to participate in these things. No matter what Sengoku thinks, Kazaru's words have already pointed out that there is something tricky in the corpse room, Sengoku Admiral and Marshal Gangukong have something to hide from Marine, and it is related to the attacker. If before, these Marine generals didn't care whether to catch the attacker and the attacker's information, they would only worry about their own safety and whether they would become the next victim of the attacker. But now it's different. 
They are regarded as criminal suspects, and there are some things that can't be done well if they don't say it clearly. In this case, Sengoku could only scratch his head helplessly. The forbidden password was issued by Marshal Steel Bone Kong, and to break it can only be broken by Marshal Steel Bone Kong. Sengoku didn't dare to make his own claim. He came all the way to Marine Admiral, not only for his strength, wisdom and merit, but also for his political literacy. Sengoku didn't say a word, he was waiting, waiting for Marshal Gangukong to speak. Advertisement. Marine generals and Gang Bone Kong Sengoku are just like this. You look at me and I look at you, just like a tortoise to a bastard. In the end, Marshal Gang Gukong took the initiative to announce to many Marine generals related information about the deaths of Jock and Faris, which he intended to conceal. Since it can't hide it anymore, it's boring to completely cover it up, Gang Gukong announced some insignificant death information and clues by the way, and see if the generals have any ideas. Most generals think that the killer of Jock and Faris is not Aokiji Akainu, but this does not mean that these people will not look at Aokiji and Akainu with strange eyes during the process of Gangukong's narration. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Unlike other generals, Kazaru is not the slightest strange, on the contrary he behaves a little happily. Kazaru didn't smile on the surface and pretended to be angry, but people who knew him immediately saw the corners of his eyes dancing under his sunglasses. Kazaru had already known this news 100%, and Sengoku, who had been observing the marine generals, knew clearly. But from whom did Kazaru's disappearance come from? Was it the guy who wanted to stir up Marine's internal situation and profit from it? Kazaru is a clue here, find a chance where Sengoku intends to go to Kazaru to make idioms. This series of events can be said to have occurred after the news that the top management will change in Marine. The chief messenger behind these events is definitely not to destroy Marine, but to seek Marine's power and authority. Advertisement. Even the opponent's appetite is not only admiral, but also the position of marshal, you must know that Sengoku is the first target to deal with. Used some tricks to make him lose face at the celebration banquet. Sengoku remembers all this account. The fragmented clues are like scattered puzzle pieces. Sengoku knew that the clues were related, but he was helpless. However, the sorrow with Sengoku, Kazaru's joy, and the surprise of many marine generals, Chin Luo, who pretended to be a marine soldier, was really overwhelmed with joy. After Chin Luo used the illusion technique to control the ensign to find Gangukong, he went directly to the scene where he had just escaped, five minutes faster than Gangkongkong. It is human nature to watch and join in the fun. When Chin Luo came, there were already many other marine soldiers and officers on Marine 1. Fortunately, Chin Luo chose a place against the wall at that time. Otherwise, apart from looking down at the wall, Chin Luo would not find other ways to hide the twitching smile of his mouth. At the beginning, Shin Luo was still entangled in the matter of using his mouth to pierce Jock and Faro. Who wants to kill Kazaru? A, 2 5 boy, halfway through, stupefied that all that Shin Luo has to do next is completed. On the surface, Marine Kazaru is really going to laugh at me. I have done so decisively when I die, and there is such an unpretentious smile. I am afraid that others will not doubt him. Shin Luo murmured in his heart. As far as Kazaru's true temperament and ability to do things today, it must be lighter next time you beat him. Kazaru's behavior is a surprise. Shin Luo's initial plan was to find a suitable marine general and use illusions to control him to uncover the hidden secrets of Jock and Ferris. Advertisement. But even if these were unsuccessful, Shin Luo still had a way. Shin Luo calculated that the time had come. Gangukong must have never expected that he had put some interesting little gifts in the corpse. In short, there is not much time left for the steel frame. In the end, Gangukong's long talk was forcibly interrupted by a series of explosions. The explosion occurred in a room in Marine 1. Thick black smoke emerged from the place of the explosion, and Gangukong looked at the direction and distance of the thick smoke and felt like the corpse he had just left, and Gangukong's face instantly turned pale. The power of the explosion was not great. The entire warship shook for a while and there was no breakage or flooding of the warship. It's not that Chin Luo is soft-hearted, it's just that he can't hide more explosives. If you put too much, Marine will find the clues. Because a 3.4, this power is already the limit that a corpse can hide bombs. Speaking of the time bomb as the main detonator, Chin Luo accidentally found it on several Marine warships that had been emptied. It was a special personal collection of a certain dead Dazuo. 
Use Marines' remains to bomb Marines' remains, this kind of operation is exciting to think about. Shin Luo wanted to tell Gang Gukong and Sengoku about the news. I don't know if they will be so angry that they will cut their stomachs and commit suicide on the spot. This is a provocation, a naked provocation. I don't care where you are hiding now. Once you are caught, you must die. Gangu Kong's eyes were full of anger after receiving the news that the corpse was completely destroyed. Suddenly opened, his pupils were shrunk to a small point in a hideous manner, and a punch with his right hand slammed the railing beside him directly. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 418. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Is there anything in the world that can make an old man who is also a master and his father even more angry than losing a disciple? Probably only let him lose the remains of his disciple. The enraged Marshal Gang Bone Kong looked like a crazy evil spirit, not to mention that the major generals were shocked to say a word, the onlookers on the side also instantly dispersed. Afterwards, whether it was a search or temporary imprisonment, many marine generals cooperated very well, and no one dared to be the first bird to violate an angry and frantic old man. It was announced that Marshal Marine convened generals marines of the rank of major general and above to a meeting on Marine 1. On the grounds of checking the internal affairs, Marshal Gang Bone Kong and Sengoku Admiral's soldiers ran around on various warships to investigate the general's rooms and normal behavior. The marine generals were not in a hurry, and they also knew that Marshal Gangu Kong would imprison them not long. Regardless of whether the attacker or related suspects are found, they will be able to return soon. That night, Marshal Gangu Kong first released a group of confirmed generals to take charge of night patrols. The next night, all 19 generals were released back. As for the results of the investigation, Shin Luo didn't know or cared. He left as the siege of Marine dispersed in the first place. Even if Marine finally finds a hapless scapegoat, Shin Luo is not surprised at all. Marine has always done this kind of thing. Advertisement. Before leaving, Shin Luo used illusion techniques to rewrite the memory of the Marine soldier who he pretended to be. The assailant Shin Luo disappeared out of thin air like the Marine soldier in the second lieutenant's mouth, and there was no trace of them anymore. In the early morning and night, the bone demon fish did not get into the gap where General Marine was heavily imprisoned in Marine 1. No more than five Marine soldiers died before they were found repelled. The Kraken family also suffered casualties that night, and a group of Kraken who was too close to the Marine fleet retreated and was caught by Kazaru, who shot himself. In this resistance, the three Krakens used another talent hidden by the Kraken clan, the Howl of the Kraken, a mental and sonic attack, which also had no effect. The sound can't escape the light. Kazaru, who is transformed into light, cannot be captured by the Kraken at all. Soon, Kazaru's speed of light kicked three more souls. When the sky was still white, the marine fleet finally sailed out of this frightening fog. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. In fact, the atmosphere of the mist is not really that wide, but Shin Luo has always used the overlord of the sea's ability to control the sea weather, allowing the mist to run with the marine fleet. After Chin Luo's goal is achieved, there is no need to let the mist follow the marine fleet. However, it is different from the high morale of the marine fleet when they first entered the mist. All marine soldiers are like eggplants beaten by frost. Some are just fortunate to escape from the dead and heart palpitations to witness the disaster. In the past few days in the mist, the marines have witnessed sea monsters that no one else has seen several times in their lives. At least a quarter of them lost their lives in the mist forever. As the fog disappeared from the marine fleet's vision, Chin Luo waved his hand and dissipated the control of the fog. Without Chin Luo's control, the fog dissipated very quickly, and the cloud that had been overwhelming before disappeared in an instant. Advertisement. The remaining sea monsters are only two cowardly and cunning creatures, the skeleton monster fish and the sea monster. Those sea monsters that Chin Luo hates the most have basically died in the previous battles and attacks. Shin Luo also put out the idea of finding these sea monsters trouble again. Just let these sea monsters return to their own territory, Shin Luo left after giving the final order. Shin Luo has been staying in the marine fleet recently. He hasn't seen Rab for several days. It's time to go back and see Taodu. The departure of the marine fleet and Shin Luo restored the sea to its usual appearance. It was not until the night came and a new moon hung in the sky that this tranquility was broken again. 
The sea was tumbling like it was boiling, and something was rising from the bottom of the sea. In the dim moonlight, one can vaguely see the wreckage of ships floating on the surface. If Marine and Chin Lua were here, they would immediately recognize that these were the wreckage of the ghost ships that were sunk, and groups of undead stood quietly on top of the wreckage. These undead are as broken as the ghost ship, and beside some undead are his broken hand and foot bones or his dismantled head. These undead and shipwrecks seem to have a special magical power. If you look closely, both the ghost ship and the undead are automatically repairing them all. Finally, in front of the entire undead fleet, a few black shadows appeared, and it was the marine warship that was pulled down by the tentacles of the deep sea devil, Paul, in that battle. The nine marine warships are arranged in a triangle, and the foremost marine warship is leaning on an undead. This undead is also an acquaintance. From the bone scepter that was shattered to the head of the rod and the remaining half of his face, it was vaguely seen that it was the AE governor who had disappeared for a while. Advertisement. A Yiju's appearance is a bit miserable, most of his body has disappeared, only the right head and the right upper body are still intact. At the wound, the exposed black substance was constantly squirming, and some of the bones were covered with cracks, and some small pieces of black meat were floating on the sides of the bones. A second before the explosion, the deep sea devil, Paul, who felt dangerous, wrapped the bomb 450 with hundreds of tentacles. After the explosion, the tentacles were all broken, and only part of the head of the deep sea devil, Paul, remained. But, Paul, is worthy of being a member of the dead fleet. Even so, Paul, still pinned his consciousness on the fragments of his head, and did not die like ordinary creatures. In the way of sacrificing tentacles and other flesh and blood, Paul, reunited his body, but the size was basically the same as that of his descendants, and the new tentacles were only a dozen. It's really been a thousand years of hard work, and the dream is broken once. Although A.E. Governor had, Paul, in front of him, he almost disappeared in the explosion. However, Governor A was unable to repair his body anymore, he could only maintain his current appearance. Everyone, including Chin Luo, thought that this group of ghost ships had been destroyed, and the captain of this undead fleet, the undead who claimed to be A governor, was also wiped out in the explosion. I don't want Governor A to appear again now, and still bring all the undead fleet with him. This undead ability alone is enough for Chin Luo and Marine to re-examine this undead fleet, of course, only if Marine and Chin Luo know that the undead fleet has been resurrected. Therefore, everything is arranged to destiny. In the days to come, this undead fleet is destined to stir up the entire Grand Line and expose the secrets of the unknown thousands of years ago. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 419. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. On the warship where Governor A was located, there was a sudden sound of footsteps, and a man and a woman walked out of the dark shadows. If the undead are also divided into men and women, this is also a good description. The male undead has a burly figure, and the body close to two meters high is full of muscles. The most rare thing is that it has a hearty face. This shows that this body should have been a sunny muscular man before his death. Such a temperament is quite popular in marine, the kind of male and female killers. Now, all of this appeared on an undead who likes to hide in the shadows. The cold moonlight shone on half of his face, giving a deep chill. And starting from the right cheek that had never been illuminated by the moonlight, a long stab wound stretched from the right cheek to the left chest, and the flesh and blood at the wound turned outward, flowing black blood. There are more than one wounds like this. There are eight wounds on the chest, abdomen, hands, feet and back of the undead male. The brainless bone tree, who chopped it off again this time, tisk 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 tisk, see this sword wound is really terrible. It was a female undead who spoke, but the silver bell-like voice was accompanied by torn cloth. Sharp. The long purple hair was tied together, and under the haircut of a lady was a youthful and immature face. She wore a purple robe, and her bare skin was as white as snow. Looking at this young female body after such a match, there is a strange sense of maturity and mystery. Advertisement. Sir Shieri, I don't want to be told by you that I'm not minded. She's an old woman who doesn't die, and she has to pretend to be a lady and a girl. Even if she's mentally gloomy, it's okay to seize a female soldier, and it's okay to choose a pair. The physical body of strength is still spending power to transform clothes at this critical juncture. You are foolish. 
The undead called Bone Wood's counterattack speech was not as sharp as his appearance. Whoever said that a big guy should be bad at words? It's not a day or two that Bone Wood and Sel Shali are not happy with each other. As long as they have the opportunity, they will satirize each other. This kind of scene is familiar to Governor A.E., and I really miss it. H.M.P.H., my old lady is happy. The stinky man's body frame is big and stinky. Don't wear such a body. Besides, the old lady is a witch from the church and doesn't need to rely on her body to fight. The old lady has a lot of energy, unlike some miscellaneous soldiers. She was cut into pieces when she succeeded, and now she doesn't even have the energy to repair the wound. As he said, the undead named Sel Shali gave birth to a gray-black flame, unlike Chin Luo's Amaterasu black flame, in this gray-black flame there was a faint soul screaming. Sir Shali pushed the flame in his hand to the bone, and the bone moved a few steps away with fear. Selksili extinguished the flame when he had achieved his goal, chuckling scornfully at Bonewood. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zi. You guys will stop for a while, and I won't just be arguing in front of me. How about the things I told you to do? A Yi Du, who was basically left with a skeleton, turned around, with a hollow eye socket on his right. It is connected to the Hell Black Sea. Master A.E. Governor, there are 273 ghost ships that can continue to be used and are slowing down. Together with the newly transformed warships, it can barely be divided into nine formations. The undead department that succeeded in capturing the house will have all been recovered, but it lacks. Most of the energy has no combat effectiveness. The remaining undead soldiers have also been recalled. After the A.E. governor made a sound, Serxili and Gumu stopped arguing and reported on one knee. Advertisement. One third of the undead soldiers are too badly damaged. These low-level undead soldiers are too slow to repair. I suggest that their souls and energy be directly taken away as nourishment. And there are too many outdated ghost ships, I think it is necessary to destroy some, those ship spirits can better support the newly transformed warships. Sir Shali said whether he was calm or not, as if he was just dealing with materials, not the soldiers and souls under them. This kind of opening is to draw souls, and sacrifices can only be discussed as ordinary affairs in the undead fleet. After pondering for a while, Superintendent A. Yi slowly said, Just do what you say, Sir Shali. You can cooperate with the bone wood. We must move quickly, and don't let Lady Death wait for a long time. You don't understand at all where the sound comes from a skeleton frame without moving your mouth. Although Sir Shali and Gumu didn't deal with each other, as long as it was the order of Governor A or the Death Lady was involved, the two would cooperate well. This is also the fact that the two who have been quarreling can stay together with Governor A. S. Reason. Did you get any information from the imprisoned souls? Regarding the great existence that awakened us, that is the sea god of this era. Governor A didn't even dare to call the name of the person who awakened them even with respect in the words. In fact, Aedu and others were able to fully wake up as early as the night of the explosion, but the undead of Aedu suppressed their souls and were in a dormant state. Because since Aedu governor and other undead were awakened, there has been a bond of slavery on the soul. Those who have their own thoughts and souls, like Aedu, have to obey Chin Luo's instructions and enslave them, and cannot be violated. Advertisement. In order not to be captured by Chin Luo again as strong men and cannon fodder, the undead of A.E. Governor waited until Chin Luo withdrew from the Sea Overlord to enable the Sea Monster's power and left before daring to awaken from dormancy. Sorry, Madam A., the many souls we captured show that there is no information about the Sea God in this era. Lu Yun, the only self-proclaimed god, was crusaded by this fleet a few days ago. Different from Bone Wood, Searle Shali called the A.E. Governor His Highness, and Esser Shali was both a witch and a female officer of the church. He <laughs> he. God will be defeated by this secular power. A Yidu sneered, not knowing whether he was laughing at Luyan's arrogance or Marine's self-righteousness. Forget it, we will collect this information later, let's wake up the other sleeping fleets and temples, and restore the glory of the dead lady. After the words were over, Governor A.E. pointed the only top scepter in his hand to the void. The black matter appeared out of thin air and soon became an ancient map. This map is very similar to the current Grand Line map, only slightly different, but the name of the island above is different from the current one. There are six places on the map marked with a lady holding a rose and a skeleton. This is the emblem of the Church of the Lady of the Dead. According to A.E. Governor, these six marked places are sleeping in the shrine of the Lady of the Dead Church and other undead fleets. 
I don't know what happened thousands of years ago. These fleets and temples fell asleep in different places. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtl novel for free. Advertisement. Chapter 420. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The fineness of the world map can often reflect the level of the navigator and the power of that era from the side. The finer the sea chart, the more rare it is. Like this one, it indicates the various elements such as the undercurrents of the various island routes in all seas, except for the new world in the second half of the Grand Line, even in the hands of marine and world government. You know that the Grand Line is famous for its geomagnetism, celestial phenomena, ocean currents, and chaotic air currents. Even if you can see through the laws and find a stable route between two islands, it can be considered a miracle. Not to mention such a pseudo-world map, the Grand Line part directly covers all the islands from the upside-down mountain of the Red Earth mainland to the Chambord Islands. For any pirate, the value of this map is comparable to that of Devil Fruit. The words on the map are not uniformly used in the world today, they are more ancient and mysterious. Translation of the names of the six marked places are the City of the Saints, the Tomb of the Devil, the Bay of Shipwreck, the Strait of Dry Bone, the Lost Sea and the Barren Highlands. Duei came from one of them. He was awakened by Chin Luo from his slumber on the bottom of the shipwreck bay. Originally, Governor A Yi thought that he would never have a chance to wake up again. Master A Yi Du, Master A Yi Du 970. After showing the map, A Yi Du fell into the memory of the past, so that he was reminded by the bone wood on the side before he came back to his senses. Advertisement. Where do you think it's better to go first? After waking up, A Yi Du pretended that nothing happened and asked directly. He felt that he didn't need to explain anything to his subordinates. The City of Saints and the Barren Highlands cannot be visited for the time being. These two places are a bit tricky. We came out of the shipwreck bay and we don't need to go anymore. The next step is to choose one of the Devil's Tomb, Drybone Strait, and Lost Seas. Up. Bonewood quickly entered the role of his subordinates, and Governor A would answer whatever he asked. He didn't ask anything that he shouldn't know or that Governor A didn't want to say. If you don't get lost in the sea, the second fleet sleeping there has the best relationship with our third fleet, and the relationship between Lord Norlin and Master A is also the best. Regarding Bone Wood's suggestion, Governor A. Yi was indeed a little moved. It is also the best choice to wake up the sleeping fleet. This bone tree is really a loyal dog, even if it becomes a bone. Sir Shali saw that Bone Wood had to choose the one that was most friendly to A.E. Governor even if he was making a suggestion, and he couldn't help but sneered with contempt. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. H.M.P.H., Sir Shali, what do you mean? Do you have a better idea? Regarding Sir Shali's ridicule, the bones can't be ignored, and they will choke back on the spot. It's not a good idea, but it's definitely better than some non-brained bones. If it weren't for the big difference in height between the old man, Sir Shali would have planned to use his eyes to scorn the bones. Perhaps Sel Shali needs to learn that trick from the Empress Hancock and despise Dafa. Just say what you have, don't patronize and quarrel. This is not the first time A has adjusted the contradiction between the two, and it is by no means the last. Advertisement. Yes, His Highness A.E. Governor. I think it is the best choice to wake up the fourth fleet in the Devil's Tomb first. Sir Shali looked at A.E. Governor. I thought it was a good idea. No matter how you choose, you can't choose to be the fourth fleet. Chirindo, the person in charge of the fourth fleet, has never dealt with Master A.E. very much. I remember Chirindo still and you sell Shali has a grudge, but she stepped on your head as the head of the fourth fleet. Gumu directly interrupted Sir Shali, only because the choice was too much out of his expectation. It's not that your bones are cheap and want to be humiliated by Charlene. Reason. Although Duei was puzzled by the target of different bones, he only asked the reason gently. It's very simple, although I don't know how that adult awakened us from sleep. But on us, those infidels and unbelievers must have put many seals on us. Otherwise, we won't be awake for so many years. Sign. So even if we can awaken other fleets, we must pay a certain price, especially energy. Although I am unhappy with Chirindo's bitch, but she has more abilities and spells to lift the seal. It will be much easier to wake up. Sel Shali gave Gumu defiantly after speaking. I have to say that Sir Shali's idea is the best in the long run. The Bone Wood also knew this, so he didn't argue. 
Governor A fell into deep thought. After a while, Governor A stared at a sign on the map and said firmly, Target Demon Tomb, 4th Fleet. The fate is such a coincidence, if anyone who is familiar with the geography of Grand Line will find out here. The marked Devil's Tomb is not far from the edge of a well-known island, which is the archaeological holy site of the West Sea O'Hara. Advertisement. Shin Luo didn't know that just because of his butterfly effect, there was an extra force in the world of pirates, and his O'Hara trip would only be more lively afterwards. After many days of safe routes, the Marine fleet finally returned to naval headquarters. They were greeted by a warm welcome and a well-prepared celebration banquet from Marine who stayed behind. The festive atmosphere instantly washed away the haze left in the hearts of Marines sailing in the mist. Marine, who arrived home, opened his stomach and joined the carnival. In the reception room of naval headquarters, Gangukong, Sengoku and Zephyr met the long-awaited five elders. Ha ha! Come and meet our heroes. The dam flowing clouds, full of evil, disrupting the order, threatening the world government and marine, are punishable. But this is all thanks to our brave marine, for letting justice defeat evil again. Scar. The old man took the lead, and the other three five elders stood up to greet the three who entered the reception room. Don't dare. Gang Gukong and others hurriedly bent over to salute. Five elders gave them this kind of courtesy because of their affection to eliminate Lu Yun. If they really accepted the courtesy, they would lose their duty. If five elders is upset because of this, they will have to stumble upon them with little face. At this time, the beige-haired old man in five elders suddenly said, although it is difficult to speak, one thing is very urgent. I hope you will leave for O'Hara immediately after the celebration, and take this opportunity to continue to push marine justice. Not sure if this is possible. Of course. Seeing the secretive look of five elders, it was obvious that they had discussed it a long time ago, otherwise they refused, and the Gangukong three could only agree. Read more at hotmtlnovel.zai. Chinese MTL fan fiction, second element novel can be read at hotmtlnovel for free. Advertisement. 